Hi VOD channel, how you guys doing? And welcome back to Phasmophobia. I've been having far too much fun with this game. Uh, we now are finally max level. Well, we're not technically, well, not max level, but we are at the point where we can basically prestige. We only need two more levels, uh, but we're obviously not gonna do that because there's a lot of stuff that I wanna try out with all the new items. They are so much fun, man. The, uh, I think my favorite item in terms of gameplay has gotta be the night vision goggles. They're absolutely crazy. And in this stream, we're gonna do the mega randomizer. This is something I immediately wanted to do when all the new items got added, but obviously I couldn't until now. And what is the mega randomizer? It, we're gonna go through every single one of these items and we're gonna randomize if we're gonna take a tier one, a tier two or a tier three. And then we're also gonna randomize whether we'll be playing on uh, professional insanity or nightmare. Uh, because I don't want to randomize the custom difficulty because 95% of the time if you randomize this wait Where's even wait? Where's even the randomize button? Excuse me. Wait, did they get rid of the randomize button? Wait, wait, where's the randomize button? Oh, there it is. Okay uh, If you randomize this a lot of the time you get like a super weird reward that is oh did they fix anything? Because it used to be yeah, it used to be that the reward would basically always be zero Seems like they are, oh well there you go. Seems like they fixed something a little bit at least because it was just always like so so easy to do that I didn't it, it kind of depends. Sometimes you get zero, sometimes you get something, but I I, I just want to keep it a little bit normal at least. That's what we're going to do. Uh, and then after that, I want to try out more stuff with the crucifix, the the super crazy tier 3 crucifix this is actually the last item you unlock. I want to use it against every single cursed possession and see how you can use it against every single cursed possession. Because for like the summoning circle, it's really easy. You just place it on the summoning circle. That's it. But for like tarot cards or mirror, it's going to be a little bit more interesting. Uh, so yeah, we're going to try that out. And I think that's it. So let's uh, see. I should apply it professional. Uh, now, obviously, the spinning here and the randomization is going to be a little time-consuming because we're going to have to roll a wheel for every single one of these, but it'll be fine, right? Uh, I think we're going to start off by saying hi, YouTube, <clears throat> and then have a good time. Here we go. I'm setting everything up. Man, my wrists hurt from, like, <laughs> being on a computer too much. Oh, boy. Here we go. Hi YouTube, how are you doing? And welcome back to Phasmophobia. I have finally reached the prestige level. I have basically reached level 100. I mean, we're two away, but this is basically it, which means that we have now unlocked every single item in the game. And what I have wanted to do from the very beginning of the launch of this update is use every single one of these items, not just the tier three items, not the tier one items, not just tier two, but all of them. And how are we gonna do that? We are gonna do the mega randomizer where we're gonna go through every single one of these items and we're gonna randomize whether we'll be taking a tier one a tier two or a tier three. We're also gonna randomize the difficulty as well as obviously the map. So we're gonna be playing on every single map with every single difficulty, with every single item, and it's gonna be a ton of fun. Obviously, we're gonna play a bunch of games so we can see all of the items and I hope you enjoy. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, you like it if you dislike it dislike it but let's not waste any more time uh, let's hop into the game let's go all right first we're gonna randomize which might take a little bit so give us a moment um so let's see we are gonna i'm just gonna have it on the side here it's literally just this wheel right here uh the way it's gonna work is i'm just gonna spin this wheel like 20 times in a row uh and whatever it lands on is gonna be is gonna be the thing but i have to have it on the side here uh, let's see. Uh, where the fuck? Okay. Uh, first one, dots. Sorry, you can't see the wood. It's gonna be tier one. Tier one dots. This is gonna be tier one EMF. Oh boy. <laughs> uh, tier two writing book. Tier three spirit box. Why is it fucking clapping? <laughs> tier two thermo. Stop clapping! Tier one UV light. Wait, that's actually the best one. Sorry for the clapping. It's just because the, the wheel is like a little clap. The tier three crucifix. Let's go. Tier two uh, candle. Tier, this is fucking silly. The tier one here. Tier three headcam. Tier three night vision. Let's go. Tier three lighter. Tier two smudge sticks. Tier two motion sensor. Tier two's paramic. I apologize for this. I'm sorry. I didn't realize it was going to do this. 
Uh, tier 1 that, tier 1 salt. Uh, tier 2 this guy. Tier 3 south sensors, oh my god, and tier 3. Look at that, that's actually kind of crazy. Okay, that was extremely annoying, I apologize. <laughs> Okay, this is the magic behind the YouTube videos. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, now this next wheel I can just show you. Let's see. What are we going to spin? We're going to spin Insanity Professional or Nightmare. What's it going to be? It is going to be... A nice start with Nightmare. I'm so happy we got Nightmare here because we have the Tier 3 Crucifix. Okay, Nightmare. Let's go. Um... Woo! <laughs> All right, nightmare, and then for map, we're just gonna click random right here. Okay. All right, we have randomized. Well, let's actually first add. Just I'm just gonna add all. I'm just gonna add all. Auto add all. Auto buy all. Sure, add it. Alrighty, we have randomized everything. Uh, look at this right here. We got pretty lucky. We have a tier three crucifix, tier two smudge stick, tier three night vision, which is going to be very fun. And the rest is just a little random mis mix and match of everything. Also, we randomized and it landed on nightmare. And obviously, we're going to be playing a random map, which that random map is going to be Lethal Farmhouse. Let's go. <laughs> nice. I'm happy with this. This is good stuff. This is a good start. I thought it was going to be really annoying. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, so, we are randomizing between Professional Nightmare and Insanity, by the way, in case you were curious. Uh, so, yeah, this is what we got right here. As I said, the Tier 3 Crucifix I'm very happy with. And also, Nightmare Mode means that we'll actually be able to use the Tier 3 Crucifix. Look at this thing, by the way. If you haven't already seen the Night Vision Goggles, it is by far my favorite item in the game. It is absolutely incredible. I'm going to start with... Oh, we have my least favorite Thermo. I think I'm going to start with this, this, and then just have a photo cam. I don't need a flashlight. We got the Tier 1 flashlight. I don't give a shit. I got Night Vision. <laughs> I should also turn on my reticle i can't see i always did that reduce my wait what i swear that made my night vision less bright for a second there i don't know what was happening but anyway uh let's see if we can find a ghost in here uh yeah i'm going in special op style we got the breaker already nice i really want to find the cursed possession what's the cursed possession gonna be i know some people weren't a fan of the night vision i love it it's amazing like it makes it look like a whole new game it's a freaking, like, uh, like it looks like a modded version of, uh, of Phasmo. If you showed me this a year ago, I'd be, like, spitting out my serial meme style and be like, what the hell? This is not Phasmo. What's this? And there's also a slight body cam effect, by the way. You can see that there's a slight, like, uh, fish eye lens. Not, not overstaying its welcome or anything. Uh, all right. Well, I don't hear anything at the moment. This is the slowest. I'm not the not very happy with this thermo. I can tell you. Uh, I, I forgot which spare mic we have this time. Uh, but we'll see that later. I know we have the tier one salt, which isn't going to be very useful. We got 15 degrees up here. Uh, is it going to be voodoo doll? Let's see. What is our what's our cursed possession? Not going to be voodoo doll. It could be monkey paw. In which case, we're just gonna say, I wish the ghost was trapped. It is monkey paw. All right. So how do you find the ghost room with the monkey paw? Very easy. You just say, I wish the ghost was trapped. And then all of the door... Well, you're supposed to be locked in. It's not actually working as intended. I think it's supposed to lock the doors in the room that you're in. However, it... It only, if you're in a room that's pretty big, it'll only lock the room or the doors of the ghost room and leave you untouched. So now I'm gonna go around and I'm gonna touch every door to see which door is locked. Now, if the ghost is in a room like the attic, there's obviously no doors that can be locked. So in that case, you're not gonna find it, but it might be here. Yep, this door is locked. So this door is locked, which means uh, w the ghost is in here somewhere. It could be in the gr or in the dining area, or it could be in the kitchen. Now, if we stay in here, uh, we're gonna get a hunt. However, I'm quickly gonna step out of here because I don't want to be hunted as of now. We're gonna use the monkey paw later, and then we can prevent the hunt using the crucifix, which is gonna be a little tricky because they changed the way the monkey paw works. Uh, but so far, so good. What do we need to do, by the way? Incense, parabolic microphone, ghost photo. We can do that. Look, <laughs> we have the tier three tripod with the tier one video cam. That's fucking hilarious. It's like the completely over overqualified <laughs> tripod for the camera on top of it. 
Uh, okay, anything. What do we need? We got the tier 3 paramic. Look at that. I'm just gonna grab the these guys right here. Tier 2 riding book's pretty nice. Uh, not a biggest fan of the of the tier one dots but now you can place it wait a minute they change oh my god i forgot how small this thing is i haven't used it since the since the tier one apocalypse challenge that is terrible oh there it is you saw orbs orbs in the living room okay easy peasy sorry if you can't see that uh where are you are you here are you close are you friend there's a bone someone was calling someone was telling me it is a bone pick up the bone I see it now. I see what you were talking about. It was cold in the living room, by the way, when I walked past here. So it was it was just always here. All right, I'll take the photo. Tier one photo cam really doesn't matter. Now, uh, someone was suggesting this. If you have any idea for challenges or things you want to see me do, by the way, please let me know in the comments down below because I am obviously thinking of a lot of ideas myself. But if you have something cool, uh, and if you see something cool in the comments, make sure to upvote it. One of the challenges I saw you guys talk about in the comments was a photo cam flashlight challenge where you use the photo cam as a way to see. So you aren't allowed to use any light sources. And you, because it's infinite, you can just flash the, the photo cam over and over again, which should lead to something re like a really creepy challenge. Uh, I already tested it, especially with the tier three photo cam. It, it's actually real cool because you can take photos so fast. All right, we're going to take some salt in there. We're going to take, we have everything we need as of now. Uh, and then I'm going to take this as well. So just in case, wait, can it even be a wraith? If it is ghost orbs, it can't, whatever. We'll just take it for the photos and maybe the UV as well. Is this even turned on? Oh yeah, it's kind of hard to see. Uh, oh boy. Hi there. So you can place this now, right? That's what, yes, you can. Look at that. That is so much better. Our, our complaining has succeeded, guys. We have convinced the devs. Also nice touch. Which is EMF2. All right, not very much. Ding, ding. It hasn't wrote, written the book yet. I'm actually going to place the book more in the middle of the room. Got to throw. Check for EMF again. Also, just place some salt right there, there. The difference between tier 2 salt compared to tier uh, 1 salt is absolutely massive. Because the tier 1 salt sucks ass. Uh, okay, nothing is happening. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Where are you? Are you here? Could it be Gorio? It can't be Gorio. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Are you French? You are ex- Is this like actually- It can't be a shade. It's the quietest ghost of all time. I, it like threw three items and that's that's about all it's done so far. Hasn't written in the book. I think it's time to make this ghost do something. Uh, maybe touch a door. We're just gonna- You know what? Since we have the night vision, I'm not afraid to just wish for activity. If you don't know, if you use the monkey paw and you wish for activity, you'll be locked inside the house and the breaker will explode, which means you can't use any more lights, but we don't need any lights because we have, uh, <laughs> we have, uh, oh, what is going on here? Game of four, because we have night vision. All right, I'm first gonna bring some more items in here. Let's see, is there anything we'll need? I'll just grab a crucifix just in case, since I don't wanna be killed. Neo, thank you for the 21. Uh, we're just gonna bring the... I mean, this crucifix is incredible. I'm definitely gonna make a video just about the crucifix. Like, if you... <laughs> this... If there's, a, there's a reason this is the last item you unlock in the custom difficulty because it... Or in the... In the progression because it is insanely strong. I think we don't need a smudge stick. I think we're just... Well, we have only... Uh, only tier... Uh... Tier 2 uh, sanity pills. We don't have the speedy versions. I'm going to bring in another writing book because one, when we wish for activity, the ghost is going to be much more likely to interact with the writing book. Um, turn this on. All right. We have both in there. No evidence yet, though, or nothing. Wait, I can't place it on there. Wait, what? What? Oh, hi. Wait, it touched the door. Wait, that's huge. Maybe we don't even have to wish for activity. Which door did it touch? Get our trusty glow stick. Was that this door? Is it turned on? I can't see. Oh, now it's turned on. Okay, it was this door. And we have Fangies. Look at that. Uh, so we actually already have Banshee, Hantu, or Obake. Well, we know it's not a Hantu because it's not freezing. So Banshee or Obake. And I think we're going to just do that during a hunt. Uh, now, I am curious. I 
I am going to probably waste this crucifix, but I'm just curious. Uh, let's grab a smudge stick really quick. Uh, or mimic. I doubt it's going to be mimic because it's not spear box nor freezing, right? Um, I think we're just going to do a hunt. Grab these smudge sticks. Grab the tier 3 lighter. Not a consumable. I actually... Like, the tier 3 smudge sticks are very cool. But the tier 2 smudge sticks, in terms of the way they look, are just amazing. The mega blunt. <laughs> Okay. Turn this on finally. Shh, quiet. Okay. Let's see if this crucifix will stop this. I'm curious. Uh, can we take a ghost photo? This is going to be very risky. I'm going to throw this over. Let's loop it around this, shall we? Just for safety. This could be my end. Uh, and then we grab this guy and we hold this guy. I wish to see the ghost. Hello? I wish to see the ghost. This should stop it, right? Oh, okay, it worked. <laughs> oh no, I forgot. Okay, so there's currently a problem <laughs> with the um, with the with the tier three crucifix when you use it with the monkey paw, which is that. It makes you blind forever. <laughs> it makes you blind forever. Now, when you have the night vision, it's not as bad. But yeah, that is supposed... To, it's supposed to... The night vision is supposed to go away when you... Um, <laughs> wait, actually, we can wish for knowledge. Why don't we try that? Uh, the night... The, the blindness is supposed to go away after the hunt ends. But because the hunt never starts, the night vision not, never goes away. So yeah, it is... Uh, maybe it will reset after the next hunt. But at least we got this this thing right here i think we're gonna wish for for knowledge we could die but uh what if we prevent man the tier three crucifix shining through here <laughs> next time we're probably not gonna be this lucky i'm just gonna place that there and i'm gonna grab these smudge sticks because i'm gonna be stuck here when you wish for knowledge it's it basically locks you in place which is kind of spooky all right here we go let's hope this works Oh, I didn't even hear that. I wish for knowledge. What is a banshee? I wish for knowledge. Hello? I wish for knowledge. What? Why? Why didn't it stop it? Help! Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Ah! Oh no. Oh no. I'm so blind. I'm double blind. I got turbo blinded. I can't see shit, man. I'm like, I have a double stacked blindness effect. I got the blindness from the previous hunt plus the... <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, we, did, we didn't learn anything. <laughs> How am I ever supposed to see the ghost again? I'm just going to say it's a banshee because it's singing right now. And it did like three singing ghost events in a in a row. I got I was just completely blind. Okay. Uh, will I be able to escape? I'm going to look. Oh, I can actually still see. Okay, I can escape. Now, this is a very different game now. Uh... Because the blindness is just gonna stay and I'm also deaf and everything is just pretty fucked up. I'm gonna say that is a that is a banshee. Uh, because we had so many singing ghost events. Now we did we obviously are too blind to see the Obake effect, so we're just gonna hope this is correct. Um <laughs> we'll see. We did almost everything. We didn't really use the paramic. That's the thing. We're not gonna be able to use everything every game. I just I got really lucky here with the crucifix and I wanted to capitalize on that. Uh, it seems like the I wish for knowledge wish. Oh, come on! <laughs> Man, you got a, we got a musical Obake here. Wasn't that literally three singing ghost events in a row? That's kind of impressive. Hey, I, I, uh, who am I to judge you for wanting to sing? That's not necessarily the, the, the Obake can obviously just do that. Uh, that was only 11 minutes. Did it seven abilities? I don't really know what that entails but anyway uh we're gonna respin everything again uh and we'll see what we end up with this time all right here we go could you are you ready for yay 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 <laughs> be ready for the chairs guys <laughs> okay let's see okay here one so wait we already have tier one and we have tier three 
Tier 3 EMF. Tier 1 Writing Book. Tier 2 Spear Box. Tier 3 or Thermo. Tier 3 UV. Tier 2. Tier 3 again? I'm insanely lucky. Tier 3? Holy dude. Tier 3? I don't need this. Please. Dude, it's actually rigged. It's giving me all the items again. This is... I'm a, is this tier one? This is this is tier one, right? Can I can I get a second opinion? Tier one, just barely, right? <laughs> That's so sneaky. Tier one on this one, I think. <laughs> just barely. Which was the lighter? Okay, tier one. Then we have tier two again. Why are we getting duplicates? Tier one here. Uh, tier one. That's stinky. Tier one. Tier three. Tier three. Tier two. Tier one. All right, here we go. And then difficulty is gonna be, sorry for the fucking glass, it's ridiculous. All right, difficulty is gonna be, let's see, insanity mode. Professional mode, it's easy peasy, dude. All right, nice. <laughs> let's go. All right, and then in terms of map, we're just going to randomize naturally. All right, this is the easiest game of my life. Boom, and then random. We we are insanely lucky. I, the, the wheel might be rigged because look at this. We once again got tier 3 crucifix plus tier 3 night vision, but now we also have the tier 3 salt as well as the tier 3 sanity pills, which can also be used during a hunt. And we are playing on professional. Now the map is going to be chosen randomly, which could be really bad. It's gonna be Brownstone High School, so we're gonna need all these items. Wait, that means we might use sanity pills to just sprint around faster. Hey, at least we got a difficult map. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, let's see. We have Harold Clark, Repel, Motion Sensor, and Ghost Event. Okay, well, obviously I'm gonna wear this one. Now we also have the tier three flashlight and it's snow weather outside how are we gonna this is actually the first time i've played brownstone high school on the new update i don't think i've played any of the big maps really yet so this is gonna be interesting i think this might be a time to try out the paramike even though we only got a tier one stinky ass paramike and then additionally we have the tier three this thing uh and then we'll grab the tier three emf as well and we can maybe use the first possession let's see I don't know if the paramic is going to help us out here, but CJ said they were really good on the big maps. So we'll see that. Uh, oh my God, it actually scared the shit out of me. I, for some reason, thought the ghost was like standing next to this. Like, hello, motherfucker. I'm here. Oh, well, we're going to go a little crazy. I wish the ghost was trapped. I wish the ghost was trapped. Okay, so now, wherever it is, the door has locked, so all we have to do... Uh, obviously, we can wait until it hunts, which might very much happen. Uh, but we just have to run around and open every single door and then find which door is locked. Easy peasy. And if we don't do that within 60 seconds, we're gonna get a hunt, which then the paramic will be able to detect the hunting sounds. Which is gonna be interesting. <laughs> Let's go. Sonar would have been nice here, yeah, for sure. I don't, I don't have any smudge stick or anything, so I could still obviously die here. Okay, all of these doors open. I should turn it on, right? What if it just hunts right next to me? <laughs> Die forever. Okay. All right, not this side. Oh, it's freezing in here, but that's normal because we didn't turn on the breaker. It's probably just going to hunt, right? Not hunting yet. Yeah, it'll have a padlock on it. Sometimes it doesn't, though. Sometimes it bugs out and it doesn't show the padlock. Like, I've had that happen last, literally last game. Hello, buddy? Is it hunting? Okay, it's hunting. Where are you? Oh, okay. It's right over there. Fucking terrifying. Dude, that's so spooky. The bear mic is terrifying. Is this slow? Is this not a revenant? Ah! Oh my god. 
Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Get me out of here. Dude, the paramic. <laughs> Let's go. Saved by the paramic. Easy peasy. <laughs> that was awesome. Oh. Okay, we're fine. Need to get out of here. Oh, there you go. It's over. It's all ogre. That was awesome. Well, uh, I'm just going to take that victory there. I'm not going to go back in. I'm so glad this could have been a disaster. Big maps can be really annoying, <laughs> but not this time. Don't be a mimic. Yeah, imagine our second round. We also get it wrong. Mimic strikes again. I don't know why that didn't immediately sound obvious to me. Mimic time. Any sound I can pick up here? It is a little annoying that it is kind of blurry in the distance, right? Like, I know they have to not make this, like, OP or whatever. But it does kind of hurt my eyes a tiny bit. We didn't do any objectives. I don't care. I'm out of here. <laughs> Revenant, easy. Terrifying. That is a really cool part of the paramic. Like, being able to hear the ghost during a hunt is very immersive and very spooky. There you go. <laughs> nice, we got it. Let's go. A thousand experience. I didn't do anything. Uh, but just split to three minute and 20 seconds. The monkey paw strikes again. All right. Well, that was a bit quick. Uh, let's randomize again. See how lucky we get this time. <laughs> what the fuck? All right, here we go again. Ready for, yay. Tier three, finally. Tier three dots. Tier one, EMF. Tier three, writing book. Tier three, pair. Dude, this is rigged. Tier two. Tier three. Tier three. Oh my, this, the, I'm, I'm vetoing that one. Spin again. We got, okay, tier two. I got tier three crucifix again. Tier three, this one. Okay, this is fucking rigged. I'm getting all tier three. Okay, and tier two headcam this time. Tier two. Tier three smudge stick. Tier two motion sensor. Tier two, that's better. Tier three, which doesn't matter at all. Tier one, which is completely stinky. Tier one, which is stinky. Tier two. And tier three. Alrighty. There we go. And now we check this. Okay. In the... Sorry. It's not very loud, right? Nightmare. Insanity? No nightmare. <laughs> I'm glad with that. I'm happy with the nightmare. Hey, I'm not gonna give myself tier three crucifix three games in a row. That's that's hacks. Uh, alrighty. So it was nightmare mode, <clears throat> and then random. All right. Well, uh, we got the tier three crucifix again, but I decided to respin that one because that was uh, completely rigged. Now we did have a we have a new item here. We got the tier three smudge sticks, and besides that, we have a lot of good evidence items, but very stinky secondary items. Uh, and we still have the tier two head cam as well. Uh, and nightmares are difficulty, and the map is gonna be Ridgeview Courthouse. Look at that, nice, <laughs> nice. That's good stuff. Yeah, tier three writing book is my favorite model. Hey, Anti, look at this thing. This is my favorite item in the game in terms of the way it looks. It is so incredible. Also, by the way, did you know you could turn these on in the truck? Doesn't do anything, but uh, if you have a Dots ghost in the truck, it's gonna be very scared. All right, we got Thomas Shawcross. Uh, so this thing is way, 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 way worse than the tier three night vision or the tier three head cam, because as you can see, yes, it provides a light, but it is a very pathetic light. Now, luckily, we also have the tier three flashlight this time uh, and the tier three photo cam, which, as I said, you guys suggested I should use this as a light source. I think it's possible. It's going to obviously not be for people sensitive to flashing lights. But besides that, uh, let's see any. What's our cursed possession? Another monkey paw. Um, voodoo doll this time. I'm gonna I'm gonna use it once. I heard nothing. I got a stinky EMF. What am I supposed to do? Hello? Ams are unlimited, yes. 
It's very nice. The tier 3 EMF is like by far the best evidence item in my opinion. Especially the increase in range is so good. Let's just uh, set up our basics first. We know the cursed possession. We need to set up our... Uh, or turn on the breaker. Which is going to be over here. We can stay in the light. Now we can add a little bit of light. Like look, this is what the... Oh! It's freezing down here. And there's an item on the ground. All right, we found it. The cold breath pulling in or coming in clutch. I love the cold breath, man. It has made such a big difference. I think the head cam, like the, the light head cam, is mostly useful for if you just want to run back to the truck without having your flashlight, which is always optimal because you can take an additional item with you then. Well, it doesn't. if you're playing in like a four multiplayer squad... You don't really need to, but if you're playing solo, especially. Now we have the tier three video cam, which is our photo, yeah, video cam. Look at this absolute bad boy. It's massive. Uh, what's funny about this one in particular, you probably knew this before I did, but it looks so big. I was taking screenshots for thumbnails today. And if you see someone hold this, it looks hilarious. It's like the, it's like a tiny, it looks like a, like a replica like a tiny replica video cam because in someone else's hand it looks like it looks basically the size of this photo cam it's like it's so small but when you're holding it yourself it's like wow it's like this massive thing covering up your screen i'm not seeing any uh any orbies should be down here right i place this m huge range writing book right there and then dots projector, which I can place on there. I wasn't, I was expecting that wasn't be po gonna be possible. Look at this. It's gonna cover the entire basement. Just gonna sweep back and forth. I'm gonna place you a little bit more like this. Now, I am not using the tripod, which is probably a mistake. This is gonna make the ghost knock over my thing. Uh, are you here? Oh, I heard a creepy noise. Hello, ghost? What's your name? Thomas. Thomas? Thomas, give us a sign. Turn the EMF on. Oh, yeah. I always forget to turn the EMF on. It is doing nothing. I'm gonna leave. Oh, never mind. It is doing something. It's back here. EMF! That can't... Wait. What? Is that EMF 5? No, right? Pretty high, though. It's, it's very inaccurate. Not 5. Um... How could it be uh, that high EMF from just the throw, though? Big four? Yeah. It's just throwing saws around. So another shade. What do we got? Uh, crucifix. We have the tier th two, as I said. Uh, repel. We have these guys. Look at these. They stun the ghost during a hunt. They're so cool. And actually, I really... Let's try these guys. So, these are supposed to prevent your sanity... Uh, they last forever, and they prevent your sanity from si for draining. They have a 66% sanity prevention. Uh, like, they prevent your sanity from draining by 66%. Uh, is this all I have? Yes. Okay. We are amnesia now. Yeah. Look at this thing. I mean, you can't really see them. They... I haven't played multiplayer yet in this. I think my first multiplayer session is going to be with the Terrible Trio this Thursday. Um, look at that. Where are you? Are you here? Is it, It's probably going to be freezing, isn't it? Where, where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Where are you? Can't wait to hear myself again. Where are you? Are you here? It's picking my mic. It says mic input. Wait. Where are you? Close to him. That kind of jump scared me. All right. Well, we got spirit box. <laughs> Get it. Where are you? Here. Are you French? Where are you? Are you here? I want to hear myself. How old are you? An elderly victim. How old are you? Where are you? I can't. <laughs> it keeps doing other things. All right, take out some more stuff. I'm so happy we got the 
Tier three write, writing book here. An act of hate. Yeah, there was uh when I was recording the voice lines, I was like, man, we are saying a lot of the same stuff, but it was just like they needed to have certain keywords in the lines that we were recording. So some of the sentences were really weird. They were like forcing the lines, but you don't hear any of that because you only get to hear the final part of it, right? So we grab both of these. We already got dots in there. Uh, so spirit box can't be Gorio. We don't have to worry about that. Now I can be a Wraith. So let's see if we can use this. Um, even though the tier one salt is very bad, but it can't step into the salt during on. So if we just place this on the door and then we get a hunt, it's gonna be easy peasy. These guys. Just, you could do this with just one of the three piles of salt you have from a tier two one. Oh. No. Thingies. Okay, nothing special. Is it cold in there? It is 3.8. Okay, so it is not cold. So what are we not having? No orbs. Uh, oh, I thought that was dots for a second. Uh, no orbs, no UV unless Obake, but it can't be Obake. No freezing temps, and maybe no writing? Can you write in that book, my friend? Dude, I love the dots. <laughs> uh, I think that's... The one thing that has been throwing me off a ton with the dots is that whenever you do freezing breath, it, like, uh, the dots reflects off of that. So it looks like it's, it's dots, even though it's not my problem um okay so if we add well these are not going to stop the cursed hunt so that's kind of bad but we can drop a smudge stick upstairs here and then just for some activity like we drop a smudge stick over here uh and we place the second writing book and then we force activity with the voodoo doll and because the the writing book should have priority over everything else it should do it uh so we grab this or we grab one smudge stick this bad boy right here, which you can also place weirdly enough. Which I think can be useful sometimes. Because you can just light them while they're standing. Like you can place it like this. Uh, and I'll hold on to this. Bring this down. I don't know. I asked CJ if he knew that... Oh. Team of five! Never mind. We don't need anything. I don't know where that came from. But we have spare... Ra it's probably just a wraith. Well, you know what? It's time to go sicko mode with this. I'm gonna turn off my head cam already. So it's not gonna mess with me. Now we just have to survive the hunt, which is gonna be easy. I am actually just gonna use all of the smudge sticks here. They're not even consumables. Uh, do we need motion tent? We just need crucifix repel and low sanity. Um, because the, there's, they're not consumable, the smudge sticks. So you can just use them every single game. And you'll not even waste any money. Now, you don't... That's the one thing I think they... They added this whole consumable system for it to mean absolutely nothing. I don't know. Maybe it's... Maybe I'm having a bit of a outlier experience. But never was I like, oh, no. I mean, I have tried avoiding using consumables here and there. But it has never, like, meant anything. Because you just have so much money so fast. Like, <laughs> it really doesn't matter. All right. Let's try and get a hunt. And then it's going to come out of there, and we'll see if it's a wraith after the hunt. And we can also look for spirit using the... Well, twins is going to be obvious, and spirit. Oh, here we go. That was normal speed. Hi there, buddy! Look at this. Get stunned. <laughs> Get stunned. <laughs> this is so stupid. Oh god. Get stunned. You're not even looking at me. Oh god. Oh, it's getting faster. Get stunned. Get stunned. And then I'm just going to run away and hide. <laughs> I don't have my light on, so I should be fine. Look at that. That is so nasty, man. Get absolutely dicked on. <laughs> so dumb. I love it. So you can't use it multiple times in the same hunt. No. The tier, you can only use each one once. But next hunt, they'll just be back again. Yeah, easiest game of my entire life. It didn't stand a chance. Now, is it a wraith? 
It did not step in the salt, so it is in fact a wraith. Look at that. We did repel. Uh, we did not do crucifix, but that's not gonna happen because he just smudged it like four times. Uh, yeah. I so I think the it's it's very fun. Like I really like all these items with like some sp very. Uh, I hope we get the tier three salt again. Uh, like some of these have such powerful abilities. Um, but they're not always the best item to take to the contract. Because what I was realizing, I did a tier three items apocalypse challenge. And in that situation, the tier three smudge sticks were actually not the best. Because for a situation like that, the ghosts are so fast and you're so slow that if you stun the ghost, it's just going to kill you right after the stun runs out because you can't get very far. So in that situation, it's actually better to have like a tier two or even a tier one smudge stick, which is kind of interesting. Uh, easy peasy. We are going to probably level up to level 100 in this one. I wonder what it's going to say. I wonder what it's going to look like. It's going to be like, hey, you want a prestige? And I'm going to be like, no, not yet. But anyway, let's respin. Let's see it. All right. Give us uh, tier three salt. What are we going to get? Oh, boy. Get clapping time. Um, going to be tier three dots. Tier one EMF every single time. Tier one writing book. Tier 1 spirit box. Okay, this is getting kind of stinky. Tier 3 this. Tier 2. Tier 3. Tier 1. Finally, we got a bad crucifix. Tier 2. Tier 2. Tier 2 again. Tier 3. Tier 1. Uh, tier two. Tier three. Tier two. Please give me three. No! Tier two. It's also, this still better though, obviously. Tier three. And tier one. Alright, here you go. Sorry for the fucking stupid. <laughs> Uh, now we spin this one. This is gonna be insanity. Do something crazy. Oh, come on. I'm spinning again. So we just pretend it's an. I don't want to do professional. Give me something hard. Give me nightmare or insanity. Go fuck yourself! I'm doing nightmare or insanity. <laughs> Fucking get it off the wheel. <laughs> Here we go. This is easier. <laughs> okay, nightmare. <laughs> That's fine. I don't want to do because we're getting such good items. I don't want to do the the easy difficulty. Maybe we should just do nightmare or insanity on the wheel. Anyway, I'm putting professional back on there. All right, nightmare. Uh, let's go. Let's go. Uh, and then random map. So nightmare this, and then random how are we getting are we getting i think we're just getting normal luck right like if you look at this list it's kind of like equally divided right because you expect to see equal amounts of tier one tier two and tier three items which is kind of what is tur turning out to happen here i think it's fine I, I don't think it's rigged all right random here we go okay so these are all our items we have uh tier two salt this time so we're gonna have better salt uh so tier one crucifix so no more good crucifix no more good smudge sticks so this could be a tough one now we are playing nightmare mode and random map is gonna be raft and farmhouse it's been kind of nice to us uh, so far at least nice all righty uh keith so let's see we have a tier two still we got t oh no we have tier one tier one head cam wait yes no Oh, no, it's tier two. Never mind. Tier two head cam. Uh, and we have or tier two flashlight, which is fine. You're going to see such a massive difference. I think I'm actually going to take this instead of the EMF because the difference between a tier one EMF and a tier three thermo makes a tier three thermo a little better. Um, like once you get used to the tier three flashlight, you can never go back. Like, look how bad this is what we used to play with. I actually can't believe it. I can't believe that this is the tier. T this is the strong flashlight that we we played with every single game. It looks so bad. 
It's like it's like I'm using the weak flashlight. <laughs> this is like uh, like how did we get used to this? That's actually crazy. <laughs> like I, I mean we and I'm even using the head cam on top of this. Can you believe that? All right, breaker, nice. We're gonna need these lights with the stinky ass flashlight. Uh, we need to find this guy. Now the temperatures are gonna go down, which it will still take a while. I think depending on the weather, you should start with either EMF or, or thermo. I don't think with this weather, I should have started thermo, but whatever. Bada bing, bada boom. That was actually kind of cold, wasn't it? I mean, it still gives you a random value. We're just going to check upstairs. I think it's going to be upstairs. The new lighting does also make stuff look a little darker, maybe. That could be it as well. Do we have tarot cards this time? I really want to get tarot cards. We don't. Unlucky. The darkness is bugged. CJ said it's not supposed to be dead dark. You know what? Then we're going to just turn up the brightness slightly. Gonna turn it up to 2.5. Yeah, that's better. Okay, that feels this feels more like what it used to be like. I think it was I think it's I think it was a little too dark. Maybe because wait a minute, if they're gonna increase the brightness again, that means that they're gonna make apocalypse way easier. Because right now apocalypse is so hard since you can't see anything. Uh hello ghost. Any ghosts anywhere? Are we gonna have a No, we might have monkey paw actually. Quickly check. What CJ wrote it's intended? Okay, well, never mind then. I don't know. I'm getting mixed messages here. One person is saying it's not intended. Another person is saying it is. Make up your mind. Monkey paw. Return to monkey paw. It is monkey paw. All right. Uh, I wish the ghost was trapped. I wish the ghost was trapped. Okay. Oh no. Oh shit. Um, I ghost. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I think I made a grave mistake. <laughs> wait, you're not here? Okay, wait, this is actually a good example. This is what's supposed to happen. I, I used it wrong. I forgot that it even works as intended at all. So the intention of this item is that when you wish the ghost was trapped, it locks you in the room, but it also locks the ghost in the room. However, if you wish that wish in any room that isn't enclosed by door, so for example, the living room here, or the upstairs, or the downstairs entrance, or the dining, etc., etc., there are so many rooms that aren't fully enclosed. If you wish it in any of those rooms, it's not going to work uh, because it's not going to be able to lock you in. So. I don't know why. Uh, in my opinion, like if they wanted, if they wanted to work this way, what they should just do is, in those situations where you can't lock the player in the room, they should just lock the front door instead. I don't know. Anyway, it's hunting. I can run now. It's coming down. Oh. Coming this way. Turn a flashlight. Run. Run. It's stupid. Maybe okay. Okay, so it came from upstairs. I'm just gonna hide. Now this is gonna trigger cursed hunts, so that's kind of stupid. All right, this was not my intention. Okay, wait, wait, already over? Does it even trigger cursed hunts? I don't know if it does. Okay, so where are you upstairs though? Let's see. Is it this door? It is this door. Okay, so we have a nursery ghost. Uh, I'm just gonna leave that here. It's also freezing breath in here. Um, and then we'll um. <laughs> You have tier three dots projector. I know that it doesn't even drain your sanity, does it? I wish the ghost was trapped. Oh, well, you don't even have to worry about anything. The crib still work. Yeah, I think the crib still works. Uh, I'm pretty sure what happened on day one when I got killed in the crib hiding spot. What just happened? Wait, huh? Wait, oh, this is hilarious. The fucking camera is so big that when I try to pick up the dodge projector instead it's picking up the camera from the tripod that i have in my hands <laughs> what <laughs> that's so stupid all right well i guess we don't do tripod uh we're gonna grab that we're gonna grab that i didn't see that before <laughs> that's so silly am i not on tripod strike yeah i mean I, I just wish they would make the the screens not so small when it's on the tripod. 
Alright, do we have any? We don't have any orbs. Is that is that gonna bounce off? Nope. Could be, but I'm not seeing anything. Tier 2 UV is by far my least favorite. I feel like they genuinely should just make the glow stick the tier 2 item and the UV the tier 1 item. Like, you never ever want to use the tier 2 UV light, it's so ass. Alright, go shoot through something. What was that? I don't know what that was. I'm just gonna set up all my stuff over here. Who needs a tripod? Yeah, I mean... I don't think the tripod's very useful. Okay, give me one second. Imagine I got killed out here somehow. So hot. <clears throat> Alrighty. You pulling my pizzle? I will never pull your pizzle. You can pull your own pizzle. Eat. I forgot your name. Okay. Uh, bing, bang, boom. Do we need anything else? I don't think so. I guess the thermo. Record temps. Record temps. It's still just 30 degrees. I mean, just. It's pretty damn hot, but... I think we're gonna go just grab the crucifixes real quick as well. I'm so out of the loop. What was that? What do you mean? What audio settings? Audio? I've never looked at the audio settings. Is there any significant audio settings? Hey, what? What audio? What are you talking about? Is there even any audio settings? It's literally just this. It's just... Wait, what? Showing... Oh, oh, it only shows in the lobby? Okay. Uh, we're gonna take this, this, and this guy. I'm just gonna go back a few times, pick up everything. 39 here. That's also hot. Oh. 37. Damn. Oh, God. Uh, excuse me. It's fine. Oh. Run. Oh no. Oh no! Ah! I'm gonna die. I have nothing to my name. Besides the sticky flashlight. I have no items. Come over here, you piece. Oh god. Luckily, I have the head cam. Without this, I will be doomed. Because it's so damn dark now. Okay, it's coming. It saw me. Okay, loop it and run. Turn off your head cam. Oh no, it double back. Wait, let's test the nursery. It's time to test the nursery. This should still be a hiding spot, I'm pretty sure. Are we good? I think we might be good. We are good. Okay, well, let's set up our safety stuff. Uh, we am Oh god, come on. Hi. Uh, I don't have a- I did have a hair. Davis. This is so pathetic compared to the tier three, uh, tier three, man. Look at the size of this. Two of these can't even cover one room and they only work once. That's such a massive difference. All right, place a writing book. Uh, where are you? We have such w bad evidence items. We do have the tier two salt, which is nice. Oh, ah! oh no, I'm dead. It's all over. It's all over. It's getting faster. Okay. A little bit. Keep your sprint. Run. 
But why am I still here? Just to suffer? Help! Oh, the dots are saving me. <laughs> okay, I need to fucking take sanity pills, man. I think I have level one sanity pills, but that doesn't really matter. Okay. Because we still have monkey paw, right? I'm out of here. It's not a wraith. We got it to step in the salt. Okay, you're very angry. Is this an early hunting ghost? I'm pretty sure this is an early hunting ghost. Uh, did we do anything special or nothing? Outran the ghost. I mean, you are faster for most of the time because of your sprint. Okay, we have tier two. I'm just going to take them all. I wonder if it would... I don't think it prevents you from taking the sanity pills anymore. Like it j will just allow you to take them all at the same time. I'm going to bring in this, this guy. Wait. Oh, I have the spear box. Never mind. Well, then I'm not bringing this. I'll bring the thermo instead. Nothing else we really need for now. I don't think it stops. It doesn't... It allows you to overdose again. So a troll can just lo load into a game and eat all the pills and then fucking leave. And because they're consumable, you'll have to rebuy them. That seems kind of stupid. I feel like they should put in back in some kind of troll prevention. All right. Well, we got freezing. Thank you, Tier 3 Thermo. I appreciate it. That's very cool. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? This thing is so bad. Where? Wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna become the actual fucking Joker. <laughs> Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Are you French? Where are you? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Are you French? Oh, wait. Is he in a five? Okay, well, never mind then. Thank you. That's actually kind of OP. You can still really clearly hear the EMF. I think, honestly, the EMF one, tier one, and. Oh, come on. This is some crazy. It's gotta be an Oni, right? Actually insane. The. The tier one and the tier two have way clearer audio than the tier three. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna leave this here. I think I'm probably gonna run. Oh my. Hunting? Is it? It can't be, right? It is! What the fuck? This is 100% an Oni. There's no way my sanity would have drained that much if it wasn't for the Oni's special ability that it drains extra sanity when it does a ghost event. Can I make it? Try and get me. You can't, because I have a nursery bed. Okay, this is for sure Oni. That was a cool game. <laughs> this is very aggressive ghost. It didn't do any air ball. Ah! Fuck you. Piece of shit. <laughs> That's so spooky, man. Get me out of here! <laughs> Oni and let's go home, please. Good God, man. Did we do any objectives or are we just... Nope, we're just gonna leave. Goodbye, ghost. And hey, we only had tier one... Uh, tier one smudge sticks anyway. The crucifix suck. It's a good... Like, it didn't get to stop the hunt a single time, even though I had both crucifixes in the room. It is such a massive difference. There you go. Obviously wasn't Oni. We are level 99. Almost there. We're just going to keep playing until we reach level 1000. Or 100. Not 1000. That would be very far. Uh, we just got to respin real quick. Okay. Uh, can I play, please? The game is frozen, I think. Let it go. Okay, here we go. Uh, where's my... Water. Mm -mm. Right, let's see. Oh god. I am stupid. I can't put on a, 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 a bottle cap, apparently. Okay, spin time. Tier two. Tier two. We haven't seen that one yet. I'm final I'm glad we finally see something better. Tier three spear box. Tier three. Tier one. Nice. Tier one. Tier two. Tier one. One. Oh boy, flashlight. 
two again. All right, this is gonna be kind of annoying. We have a stinky flashlight. Here one. Oh boy, bad pair mic. Good photo cam, doesn't matter at all. No, everything is staying the same. Top of sound sensor. And then tier two, okay. Woo! Woo! Okay. Difficulty will be... Nightmare again? You, we, let's just pretend it was insanity mode. <laughs> I'm just gonna... I just want to do one prof one insanity mode, please. Like, come on. Be, get, we saw, you saw nothing. You saw nothing. It was totally insanity. That was like the third time it was uh, nightmare mode in a row. I don't want to just do the same thing over and over. <laughs> okay, let's see. This We don't have the best items here. This could be really bad if this is a hard map and then it's just a disaster. Alrighty, let's see. We have... Uh, Better EMF this time, finally. We only had tier two, tier one EMF until now. Uh, f our flashlight situation is going to be a little tough because we have uh, tier two headcam, tier one light, and no good camera either. Uh, and we, we set it to insanity. We rolled Nightmare once again. We rolled it like three times in a row. So I just decided to do insanity to spice things up. Now let's hope that we don't get Sunny Meadows or something. Maple Lodge campsite. That's actually really good because outside maps have really good visibility most of the time. So we're not even going to really need a flashlight. What weather? Oh, is this heavy rain? It is light rain, I think. Man, the game has gotten so much darker. Like, what the hell? Uh, we have Susan Young, parabolic microphone, EMF, and capture a photo of the ghost. Okay, let's uh, inspect our items here. We still got tier three uh, thermo, tier two crucifix this time, which is nice. Tier two smudge stick, tier two salt. You know what? I'm gonna do something stupid. I want to try and you. Oh god. Uh. I want to try and use the sound sensors because the sound sensors have gotten much better. Why is it lagging so hard? What is going on? Um, I wonder if the, the it sucks that we only have tier one sound sensors, but I still think this should be fine. We're going to place one over here. This area. I don't know if this is going to pick up in the, Oh, well, so much for my sound sensor dream. <laughs> only that, I guess. I think maybe the sound sensors are ruining my FPS or maybe it's the head cam. I'm just going to place them around, whatever. Well, we already know it's there and we know it's not an Oni this time at least. No crazy Oni. We also know it's not a shade because the shade could never do a ghost event right at the beginning. Well, I guess on insanity mode it could because you start with 75% sanity. Um, it's the rain that's ruining my FPS. Okay, I see. But look at this. You can increase the range. Oh. That's actually, like, kind of ridiculous. <laughs> like, too much. Look at that. I thought I placed these pretty far apart, but they're overlapping, like, 90%. Um, and you can also hear... But you can hear someone walking through the... The bushes, even from here. That's kind of spooky. Alright, anyway. Uh, I'm gonna take a sanity pill. Uh, I don't want to immediately die. We're gonna once again put our tier one on a tier two tripod, I think, this time. To turn on the breaker. Oh god, man, this rain? I haven't played much on uh, on campsite maps, but this is freaking demolishing my FPS. <laughs> what have they done? The screen on this cam is so bad. Yep. Oh, we don't have a cursed possession because insanity mode. Whoopsie daisy. Wait, this is going to be extremely hard, huh? I should have thought about this before I just made it insanity mode for no reason. That there was going to be a pretty high chance we'd get a shitty map. All right, I'm just going to pick it off this thing. Hello? Any breaker back here? The breaker. That is a breaker. Nice. Also, we need to say hi to Larry. Hi, Larry. How are you doing? Uh, oh! I thought I saw orbs there for a second, but no. Are you out here? It is... maybe? Hope it rain. Turn on the lights. Oh, baby, look at that. Oh, maybe not? In the hallway here? Central path? 
Eight degrees. Hello? Well, this is gonna be a tricky game, huh? I think we'll need more items first. We'll need to wait a little bit for the ghost to make it colder and we'll need more items. Let's see. Dav Davidson, thank you for the 33 and Satsuki. Thank you for the two. Oh! Okay, well, never mind. Uh, I think it found it. Every time I think I lost the ghost, it fights me again with this ghost event. What the hell? Okay. Um, let me get some EMA 5 here. What's right over here? EMA 4. Okay, so you're probably in the central path then, right? Or like one of these tents. Uh, maybe. I'm just gonna set up over here for now. Uh, will we have the video cam? Any orbs? Mimic incoming? I should carry a smudge stick around. Because I feel like we're gonna get hunted any moment. The ghost ever been named Casper? No, they don't have Casper ghosts. It can be- it can definitely be that path. It can't be this path, but it can be that one. Um, I got EMF. Let's see. We grab, I guess, everything. Set it all up. Spirit, Spirit likes music. Thank you for the prime. Oh. Threw the ball around. Wait a minute. We can get EMF on that. Is it going to be EMF 5? Go, 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 go. Important. Don't roll away from me! Game of three. Okay, well, never mind then. I don't know if it, if it even is here. I don't think it is. I think it's gonna be like... Oh, maybe it is. Never mind, I threw something. Put this in this area. Throw something in here. EMF3 in here. Okay, so maybe it is in this area. It could obviously be on the opposite side of this. Sometimes you have that. It's just not very cold here, which is kind of suspicious. But I guess it is what it is. Place the epic writing book. With a massive range. We only get one evidence as well. Oh, boy. <laughs> Yuki, thank you for the two. Be careful with my head cam light because it's gonna attract the ghost. Yeah, you can get blocked while walking with certain items, like the cru the the tripods. Apparently, doesn't do that. There's some weird shit going on with the brightness, though. Like, look at this. Like, what is happening here? Why? CJ, explain to me. Is this a tier is this a uh, 90 FOV exclusive bug or what? Uh, oh, no, it's not. No, it's not. Not even that excuse. Can work. Excuse me, did it just throw something? Oh, no, it threw something in the map, and it sounded like it was... I thought it threw something over there. I was like, wait, how could it be on that side of the thing? But it was just the <laughs> sound sense. Okay, um... This guy. This guy. This is fucked up, man. This is fucked up. What am I supposed to do? I'm gonna die. Stupid FPS. I gotta give it the tier 229. Smudges, yeah, yeah, but I need to set up all this stuff. Did it touch this? I'm not sure. We got that hiding spot though, which is good. Okay, um, I have no clue. Are you even here? It's not here. In this room? Nope. Maybe it is on the opposite side. Or this one. Ah, it is in the green tent. Okay, nice. That's a way better ghost room. I'm glad. Okay, we need to set up in the green tent then. Good stuff, good stuff. Hopefully we won't die. Nice. How much better? Oh, it touched a door. In a minute, if it touched a door, that means we might have which door, though? Check for EMF. Ah! 
Oh no. It's not the Help! Uh oh. Uh oh. This is a this is real bad. Oh no, the lag! Grab this. Go inside the house. You can't get me! Why can't I open this door? I just got the key! What is this? Since when is that what? Since when can you not do that? What the hell? I'm gonna die! What is that bullshit? I'm actually fucked. I'm fucked! What? <laughs> Excuse me? Since when can you not open the door during a hunt? I didn't... Did they add that? You cannot go in that house during the hunt. Oh my god, look at this. <laughs> All right, well, I learned something new. That is definitely new, though. There is no way. Because you used to just be able to pick up the key. I picked up the key, but I... Oh, it's a bullet, guys. All right, well, we kind of dodged a bullet there because that was, like, a very, very hard mission with insanity mode on that map with those items. Uh, let's see. Maybe we get a little bit more lucky this time. Oh, boy. That was just... Un that was just uh, uncalled for, honestly. I'm gonna I'm gonna type that in the potential bug report. Uh bug report. Uh you cannot open the cabin door in Maple Lodge during a during a hunt, even if you have the key. That seems that, that is new or a bug. But it wasn't in the patch notes, so I assume bug. <clears throat> Alright, there you go. There you go, I've done my due diligence, reported it, now it's time to go. Yay! Tier 3. Tier 1. Again? I'm overriding that one. I want to see something else. Alright, tier 2 again. Like, if we get the same items, we got a tier 3 again. I'm gonna spin until we get a new item for each of these. Between every round, we need to change which items we have. That's gonna be my new rule. Just so we have variety. Because otherwise, it's just gonna be the same thing over and over again. Tier 1, that must be new. Tier 1, what is this fucking rig thing, man? It keeps giving me the same item. Tier 3. Tier 2. Tier 2, oh, come on. Tier 3, hey, I'm fine with that. Tier one, tier three. This is ridiculous. Tier three, nice. Tier one, uh oh, but luckily we got the good thing. Tier one, tier three. It's fun time. Tier two. <laughs> oh, that's one person that keeps going. Wow. Fucking annoying. Stop doing that. Oh my god, it's doing the same shit over and over again. Tier 3, there we go, finally. Alright, I might have to mute that shit. <laughs> Bad Bad Alright, uh, added everything again. Everything is added. Man, look at what the hell is this? Why did we get so many tier 3s? I mean, because I was respinning. We should... I just don't want to have the same ones every time. I think this is better than like. Because otherwise we keep we keep getting duplicates. Like I want to uh, swap between runs. Uh, all right, let's see. Please give me nightmare. Ah shit. <laughs> uh, well, I guess we're gonna be playing insanity again. And now we're gonna get the worst round of all time. Alright, insanity. Not random. Hey, at least we got some pretty good good items here, but we do do we do have insanity as well. But look at that. We have crucifix tier three, uh cam, everything. We did a, a thing where if it landed on the same item we were already using, we respawn the item just so we see some variety, right? Because otherwise we're gonna see the same items over and over again. So right now we have tier three sanity pill and we have motion sensor, which we haven't really used, so we get to see those. Uh now hopefully it's not gonna be sunny meadows. Willow Street! Perfect! Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. 
Oh, man. All right. That is amazing because that means we get to use all these items. Now, we don't have um, any good head cam this time. Actually, this cam is terrible because when you put it on, for some reason, it puts this, like, bar on your screen. I, I don't know why. I wonder... Is it like intended or is it just clipped into the character? I, I don't know. But anyway, uh, Carlos. All right. We have the tier three flashlight to make up for it. And we got all this stuff. We should be totally fine. And insanity mode doesn't mean we don't have a cursed possession. So this could be a little scary. Uh, buddy. How you doing? And I love the tier three flashlight. I wonder if they reduce the overall brightness of the game to accommodate for the tier three flashlight. Because it is a game changer. What is our candle this time? I think we have tier two or something. I forgot. Hello, ghost. You got a big boner. Oh, uh, hi there. Yeah, my three. It's a very active throwy ghost. I didn't even hear that, but there's already two items on the ground. I love the new sound of the EMF. Okay, I'm gonna grab all our stuff. So much stuff. I saw what the ghost did. What did the ghost do? Oh, I? Um, it's coming out here. Wait, it's hunting? What? It's some day or something. What the fuck? <gasps> what was that? And then the ghost event into hunt and it's fast as shit. I just entered the map. I literally didn't do anything. It's gotta be a thing. <laughs> Why are these games so fast, man? Okay. Oh, you know what we have to try? Uh oh, if we don't die, we have to see if we can out sprint. A they if we have uh, the tier or the tier three sanity pills. This has to be tested. Can we loop a they with tier three? I'm probably gonna die for this, but I want this has to happen for science. Uh, we can wait. We can set up absolute hell here because not only do we have the tier three sanity pills, but we also have the tier three smudge sticks. So we can just set up a complete. <laughs> we're gonna shit all over this thing. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> they them yes exactly i saw i saw that joke on the reddit the loot i haven't seen the tier 3 so much like yet well it's your lucky day it is your lucky hunt and then boom we should definitely take this and then one more back. Hopefully we'll be able to do this without the ghost hunting right away. Placing these things is actually so nice. All right, just... No, it's already hunting. I don't have everything. All right, well, here we go. Um, no, no, no. You know what? I'm just going to hide. I'm just going to hide. I want to get everything. If I can live. Oh, no. He doesn't know. It doesn't see that I've set up a whole freaking ritual over here. It has no idea. It's fast as fuck. It's a thing. I mean, I literally entered the house and it started hunting immediately. This shows you just how good this hiding spot is. Like, <laughs> that spot is so safe. Because it's very rare for the ghost to just randomly roam behind it. And even if it does, you can always loop it. I mean, you can't really because it's a freaking thing, but whatever. Okay, grab all of these and that's it. We could grab these as well, but we can't because we don't have that many arms. What's with the vape pen? It's actually an adrenaline shot. Is that a vape? I'm gonna stack them all up. Okay, so we're gonna have two of these in our inventory. We do have the worst matches which is gonna be kind of tricky but our whole setup is here that or light up these areas uh and this is gonna be interesting i don't know if we're gonna be able to survive this luckily the thay won't be able to get any faster and then so every time we can loop the ghost and then we can use our adrenaline pill 
And then we can, once we run out of sprint, we can stun it, grab another adrenaline pill, loop it again. This is going to be easy. Easy peasy. Come on, ghost. We'll see. I need to grab my flashlight, actually. Oh, fuck. Well, never mind. No flashlight. <laughs> We're going to do this in the dark. Okay. Oh, boy. Hello, ghost. Just... Here it comes. Okay. Let's see it. So I'm gonna I have infinite sprint get get wrecked I'm fa I'm as fast as you are. I'm even faster. Okay light a match now because we're running gonna run out of sprint soon And then we stun it then we grab this Wait, this is actually I told you it was gonna be easy and then I use this and then I sprint again. Oh ah! Oh wait, never mind. It's over I thought the lights just turned off and then my heartbeat still kept going, but it, it was just over. <laughs> okay. I didn't even use half my resources. What the fuck? Like I still have, wait, this one's still used. Yeah. These ones are still available. I only used one smudge stick. I want, I just want to stun it in place. Come back here. I know because we smudged it. All right. Well, you get the gist of it. This thing is so strong, man. Uh, wait, can I use it? Wait. Oh. Okay, so they just forgot some simple math again. I'm seeing a pattern with the devs forgetting to do math. It seems like they don't really like math uh, Because I can't use this adrenaline pill right now. So if you're at a hundred percent sanity You cannot take the pill. However, what they forgot to do is when you take the pill add up Whatever sanity you're gonna get over time on top of your existing sanity and prevent you from taking additional pills because what can happen right now is you could be missing 10% sanity and then quickly take all four of the pills which would would have restored you like 100% sanity if you just waited but they don't wait they, they don't do the check like what what it should do instead is if you take a pill it should like already preemptively prevent you from over taking more sanity pills but they just forgot to do that all right well that's another one for the for the bug reports probably uh, and that should just be a regular thing. It's not been at, like, yes, there's been some pretty big bugs on this, uh, on this update, especially the smudge sticks and the sound when the game first came out. The sound was horrendous. Like the, the audio during hunts was so loud. Uh, but trust me when I say that we've lived through far worse things. There have been far, especially considering just how much has been added this update, we've seen far worse uh, stable versions or unstable versions of the game after updates. Uh, let's spin again. Level 100 almost. Um, <clears throat> also, potential bug report. If you take a pill at 90 you can just take all the pills really fast it doesn't prevent you at all what it should do instead in my opinion is prevent prevent you from overdosing. Take a pill. It calculates what your sanity will become. To prevent trolls, to prevent trolls. Okay, nice. Dude, we're, we're running through these bugs fast as hell. Uh, randomize this. Okay, so we're gonna... I think we should do... Well, I guess it's fine. Let's just do the same thing again where we don't allow the same items. I think that's the way to go. Otherwise, we're gonna see the same things. All right. I'm just gonna turn off the fucking... Yay! How do I do that? Applause. Subdued applause. What if I do a different one? What if I do swoosh ding? swoosh ding is that annoying <laughs> all right let's try another one let's try a little bit of twinkling star 
Or let's try a little bit of uh, announcement bell. <laughs> That's like the fucking sad. <laughs> that one's so good. Let's do correct answer ding. It's giving me the same over and over again. Okay, tier one. Uh, next one is gonna be mystery bell. Mystery bell. Oh my god, terrifying. <laughs> and then we're gonna do microwave ding. Let's go. Uh, then we're gonna do fan fanfare. Fucking serious. <laughs> I have to spin again <laughs> because it was the same eye. Oh my god. I'm doing belt. <laughs> ah, that's so annoying. Oh no. I have to do it so many times. I'm sorry. Help. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Bing. There's so many damn sounds here, dude. Uh, okay. Jesus Christ, why would you ever want that sound? It's so long. <laughs> why is that the fucking, like, uh... The, the, what, the good, the bad, and the ugly sound? What the... Next one. Evil laugh. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Old phone ringing. Oh god, my eyeballs. I'm, I'm I, <laughs> I am crying. Uh, wait, am I going through these properly? I hope so. Ring, ring, ring. There's like infinite. That's annoying. Military trumpet. Do, 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 do. Fireworks. Woo! Basketball buzzer. Children's hooray. Xylophone ascending. Sounds like something you hear in, in a Sesame Street episode. What if we do... I'm just gonna... Ghost! Ghost? Oh my... Why would you want this sound as your, like... What is wrong with you? <laughs> Sounds more like a monkey than a ghost. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> All right, anyway, I've done it. That took so much longer for no reason. Okay, now we spin the... <laughs> now we spin this one. This is still going to be yay. Professional again? Okay, I'll take it. Thank you. It'll be yay. Why is this so damn slow? Okay, professional. Nice. Okay, professional... Oh, Lisa, thank you for the five gift subs. Thank you. All right, please be nice to us. We have a lot of tier one items this time. We only have three tier three items. The lighter, the ghost writing book, and the EMF. Finally, we have the EMF. That's the first time we've seen it. All right, uh, what's it going to be? Grafton Farmhouse. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I was with that setup. I mean, it was professional, right? So we should be fine. But still, I'm, gra I'm glad it's a uh, small map. Also, we got snow weather, my favorite weather. And we have the the tier one thermal which i think is actually amazing uh we don't have any lights wait a minute we have the tier one head cam and we have the tier one flashlight oh boy uh we're gonna have to turn on the breaker real quick i'm just gonna walk around with this stuff this is like this might as well not exist i love the emf like actually amazing i was set to play multiplayer on this version of the game because I assume that if you have, like, if you just hop into a random lobby, do you just see all random items? Like, combinations of random items? Because everyone can take their own equipment into the game, right? 
So if someone has tier ones and then another person has tier threes, then it's just one fucking mess of of like one person's walking around with a tier one, whereas someone else has like a tier three EMF. Just, that must be kind of weird. And then the one that put in the tier three is like, hey, give that to me. That's my EMF. And then you're just gonna fight over the oh, fight over the equipment. Hey, did you knock on the? You threw this. I see. It's also cold in here. Nice. All right. I'll be right back with all my stuff. Oh, God. What the fuck? Uh, was that EMA 5? It was EMA 4. Okay. Run. Run. These guys are crazy, man. That's my tier 3 salt. And confirm you fought over the EMF just yesterday. <laughs> nice. You're the one providing the puns. Damn, okay, um, luckily we still have this. We have the one dot. Oh, that's not very good. And we have this thing. I think it's a mare. That's, you guys really be like, I see one little bit of evidence must be that ghost. It did one singing ghost event, guys. Time to pack it up. It's a banshee. <clears throat> Parasonic, yes. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not gonna prestige today. Prestiging, we'll have to do... I guess every time we prestige, we're gonna have to do a, an all maps, like, mega challenge like we used to do. I don't know if it's enough time between prestiges, though. Because you can level up pretty fast. But we gotta keep the tradition alive. Uh, is that all we need? I think that's all we need. Crucifix, parabolic microphone. I have the stinky one. I'm not doing that. Prestige is at 100. But you can just keep leveling, it doesn't matter. I have the tier 2 head cam. Wait, I do? Wait a minute. I thought it was tier 1. Oh yeah, you're right, it is the tier 2 head cam, never mind. I mean, not that it helps very much, but at least I should put it on. Uh, alright, ghosty pants. We have everything. In VR, you- could you look through the- you probably can't. Like, if you hold it against your eye. <laughs> That would be detail right there. All right, buddy. Um, I have an epic writing book for you. I have a dots pen, which I can't, why can you, oh. I feel like that's not supposed to be how that works, but <laughs> all right then. Uh, any Orbeez? Big throw, is that an EMF-5? EMF-5, the EMF-5 is so <laughs> inconspicuous, man. M5, nice. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Are you French? Are you pizza? Are you grandma? Are you naked? Where are you? Is it freezing? It is minus freaking many degrees. All right, freezing, easy peasy. Gin shade, only the twins. Probably not a shade, considering it did that ghost event right away. Uh, Oni would be... Dots, which we have the dots pen. Wait a minute. I'm gonna hold it, and then we take a ghost photo. How's this gonna work? Uh, for potential... Because it was an insta-ghost event. Hello? Where are you at? You probably... I, I wanna try this first. It's probably not gonna work, but I'm curious. What if I just... Oh, here. What it, Does this count as a ghost photo? <laughs> Got him. Get fucked. Absolutely wrecked. <laughs> it's just darkness. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like that freaking sound. By the way, YouTube, you're missing some uh, some absolute gold here. You can change whenever I spin the wheel. I have to spin the wheel like a hundred times. So I was sound, I was changing the sound. What was the best one? The evil laugh. Uh, evil laugh sound. Sounds like this. <laughs> a pretty good impression. <laughs> uh, I think mine was better. <laughs> anyway, I'm out of here. That was easy. Uh, cause we have- we don't have many combat items here. Combat items? I don't know why I called them that, but we mostly have just the basic stuff. I still want to really use tier 3 salt. 
We haven't gotten it. Well, we, we got it once, but that was on Brownstone High School when we, uh, <laughs> like, immediately figured out it was a revenant. Come on, give us something. Uh, here we go again. I'm just gonna... What if I just use only... It's gonna be so annoying. <laughs> Someone's gonna come into the stream. And I'm gonna be like, well, what the fuck? <laughs> Okay, I need to change this. This is fucked up. What is the horror scream? <laughs> Why would you do this? What is the point of having this sound effect? Like, who's gonna use this? <laughs> what kind of psycho would use this? <laughs> ah, okay, well, give me a sec. I'm gonna change it. What other? Uh, carnival shout? <laughs> what? What is this? <laughs> that is not a... <laughs> Kaiko drum? Wait. What the fuck? Oh, that kind of sound. This is like a song. <laughs> okay, I need to do another one. Um, lions, angel, angels. The fuck? Uh, boing, boing. And from the makers of Boeing, we got Boeing 2. Boeing 2? <laughs> That's so bad. Wait, we got it! Nice! There's three, let's go. Uh, and a good one more horror scream for good measure. <laughs> Tier three, nice. Uh, lion's roar. Shut up! Uh, water splash. It's gonna be Magikarp. Alright, nice. Dude, this is a whole new experience. <laughs> it's like a motorcycle. My neighbors think I'm killing someone. Oh, man. <laughs> my, my neighbors when... This is like the, the life of my neighbors. I'm sorry, that was that was annoying as hell. Alright, uh here we go again. <clears throat> what do you give me? No more Oh insanity mode. Uh oh. This is gonna be fun though. Insanity mode plus all these good items, because we have actually really good items. Like look at this. Uh we have tier three salt, tier three this, tier two that, tier three. We just only have a weak flash side, which is kind of annoying, but besides that, we got really good items. That's awesome. And then, uh, insanity. Okay. Random. We got some pretty good stuff this time. Tier 3 crucifix again. And finally, tier 3 salt, as well as tier 3 sanity medication, but we are obviously on insanity. And we're gonna go to... Actual road, dude, actually saved by the bell every time. This could have been like prison, sunny meadows, maple lodge again, but nope, we're getting pretty damn lucky. We got Leslie. Okay, and we even have uh, tier three, this guy. All right, um, I'll take you. What type of weather is it? It's normal weather, which means it is like 15 degrees. Oh, eight degrees. It's windy. It is windy. Hello? Don't have a cursed possession this time, so that's we're not gonna be able to stop the cursed possession hunt. But as I said, I'll be making a video on that, like specifically on using it against all cursed possessions, because I want to test that out for myself. So you don't have to worry. Posty pants. Like it would be cool if you had option, like, because because the EMF tier three is so good, like you will always start with that one over the EMF tier three. So it will be nice if you unlock stuff in somewhat random orders. 
So you could like sometimes, oh, hi there. You'll have to start like, cause then you'll like play the game differently rather than just playing it the same way every time. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, we already found the ghost room. Thank you very much. I didn't have an EMF though. Always in that toilet. I don't have it always in that toilet, but sometimes I really like the look of these guys. You know what? I'm just bringing out one of these guys cause they work even when you're not, um, like you can just light them and put them on the ground and then they'll still prevent your sanity from draining. And I think, yeah, you can just right click and turn them off like that. Uh, any Orbeez? Should really check for fingies. Probably just in the, in the kitchen here. Perfect for a romantic dinner. We need to do the romantic dinner challenge on this update. Uh, I'll grab this guy the tier two one which is in my opinion the worst because it takes like five seconds to charge a, uh, a fingerprint it's just far too long it is not fingies though unless obake oh hi there perfect photo photo get close enough it's so messed up how you have to get close enough to take a three star but if you get too close it despawns like does anyone else see how fucked up this is? It's so annoying. Like the range is so pr I feel like they should just remove the like the they should just remove that the ghost disappears. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Throw a knife in my face? It's team at five? Wait, what? Okay, well that's our only evidence we're gonna get, because remember, we're playing on insanity mode. It's probably not a shade. Um, uh, this can be an Obake, can't be a Goryeo. This is a good combo. Wait, and we have the tier three salt. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Throwing a knife, it's trying to kill me. Tier three salt. For some reason, my YouTube uh, recommendation gets so random sometimes. All of a sudden, I've been getting tons of like police body cam videos in my recommended. Are you guys okay? over in the US? Like, do you, do I need to, do we like need to help? Cause I've seen some fucking shit. The police over there is actually insane. Like there'll just be a guy that's like sitting in a car and then the police will just say like, get out of the car. And before he can even respond, he's like pepper sprayed in the face, tased in the ball sack and like laying on the floor <laughs> with like blood all over his face. And I'm like, oh my God, dude, he didn't even do anything. <laughs> he was just in the car. Like I saw a video of some guy, uh, like um, all he was doing is like his son was pulled over uh by the police and he was just wait oh god he was waiting for his son to be let go by the police so they could just like continue commuting together and like the police got extremely belligerent and they like hazed them in the leg twice just like completely out of nowhere it was like i don't even know man like how is that <laughs> oh already i guess it's actually wild like, how can that happen with body cam? And then every time at the end, it's like a full depression cookie, man. It's like a depression sandwich, these videos, because they'll be like, you'll see some of the most horrendous, like, unforgivable police brutality. And then at the end, they'll like say what happened to the person. And it's like, yeah, he was put on paid administrative leave. And you're like, what? What? <laughs> like, how? <laughs> How is this guy not in prison himself? Like these are the people that are supposed to protect you? That is fucking terrifying. Like, I'm sorry, that is actually horrendous. Like it's not perfect here either, but there's way more accountability than than that. Like if you do that stuff as a police officer, you go you go straight to jail yourself. Okay. Uh, anyway, sorry for the random rant. I was just like watching those videos in complete disbelief as to what I was seeing. Like, uh, I just, I just had to, had to get a reality check on that one. Uh, we are, we have only one evidence, right? It's going to be EMF. We know it's not a wraith because it stepped in assault. Uh, it tried to hunt twice there. So it's definitely not a shade. Uh, we don't know much more. We'll just have to get a hunt, I guess. But we have the... Wait, we can, we can, I don't think slowing it down with the salt. I mean, I want to at least see it, right? 
The tier 3 crucifix is extremely big. It has like an absolutely massive range. Um, I'm just going to place through there. I don't think I need much more. And then I need my uh, my lighter, my mattress. True smooth, smooth. Thank you for the three. Nexus Chainsaw Massacre looks really... F I don't know why I went from <laughs> like police brutality to... <laughs> Texas Chainsaw Massacre, but it looks really fun. I'll definitely be playing that soon. Uh, after the, like, we've done everything in Phasmo. Um, oh, hi there. Take a photo. Oh my god, I just got it. Okay, three star, let's go. Woo! Okay, it's time. I didn't, I did, did I just take a pill? I did just take one pill, right? So we should be okay for a little bit. We have to set up over here anyway. Um... I mean, if we just, we don't, we're playing on insanity mode. So having, um, <clears throat> like these crucifixes are only uh, useful for stopping the hunt anyway. So I might as well just bring them over. There's nothing else I really need. I'll grab a tier two motion sensor because I haven't showed this uh, on the update or on, on this video yet. And it's actually, it's actually my favorite um, motion sensor because look at this. It can, uh, wait, what? it stops on this. It has two lasers and it'll show you which direction the ghost is walking because the lights will show will light up in order. So if the ghost leaves your room, you'll know here if it leaves the room or, or if it enters the room, which is really nice. I'm also going to play this guy out, place this guy um, for extra. Si All right, dude. <laughs> now the salt itself, the black salt, the the, the tier three salt can be used to both uh, like passively outside of a hunt. If the ghost walks into this, which I think it just left the room, so it's gonna work the wrong way around. But if the ghost walks into this, it'll be repelled backwards back into the room, which you, if it's like in a really small room like that, you can just keep it in that room. Yeah, it's over here now. So it's gonna work the other way around, which I think from my experience, the ghosts on like higher difficulties roam so much that most of the time your salt will actually like work against you because you'll place it but then the ghost ended up being outside of the room and then it like walks into it and then gets repelled back out of the ghost room so it doesn't always work in your favor uh anyway i'm just gonna place all this salt in a in a line here to just slow it forever you're not gonna kill me uh, and i'm gonna place this guy Look at how these get, like, warped and shit. The taking photos of the crucifixes, everything that has, like, that requires the ghost to interact with it is currently kind of broken, uh, I've been told. So, something like a crucifix photo, a writing photo, cursed possessions have been really tricky, apparently. I haven't had any problems with cursed possessions, but apparently if you, like, have a mirror on the wall... Oh, you can't take a photo of it. It's such a miling. But it's such a miling! Look at this slow, slow <laughs> ghost though. Then you get slowed down again. And you get, and you walk away. Man. Oh god, it's so fast though. You're not even gonna be able to get me. There you go. Man, the, like it requires so much setup. I don't, let me know what you, how you've been using it. I don't think it is super useful like that. In a situation like this, I mean, it's oh my god, it's fun, that's for sure. Now, I've said this many times, but you do have to be really careful throwing items on the salt because the salt actually has a hitbox which will prevent you from picking up your items. Um, which like I, I died once because I dropped my lighter in the oh god, this ghost is fucking insane, man. Uh, take more photo. I gotta get the hell out of here. Can I take these? Am I full? Oh, come on! One star? Well, I'm out. Goodbye. You piece of shit. That was uh, insanity mode, right? Insanity mode and everything, and we just figured out the ghost, and we got all objectives. Wait a minute. Are we gonna get up to level 100? <laughs> You've lost your EMF in dirty water? Wait, dirty water has collision now? That's when. Yeah, there's some photos that are a little, a little tricky, but I mean, those are things they're just going to iron out right over time. We one more game, one more game. 
randomized for the final time and then we're gonna reach level 100 and i'm very curious how that's gonna look like let's see this is, we're gonna be like is it just gonna immediately ask me i i'm assuming i can wait i don't have to just immediately do it give me one second Let's go. Bam. All right. It's, it's big spin time with the crazy, so crazy sounds. All right. Let's just do true randomization this time. Whatever we get, I'm going to fill in, fill it in. If it is the same that we've already have, had, that's fine. Because there's no item we haven't really seen, right? I guess I haven't used the sound sensor much. But we've seen basically every item. Except, I guess, the tier 3 motion sensor. But that thing sucks anyway. Oh, <laughs> oh whoops. <laughs> Forgot about that. Uh, lost game. Uh, anyone we haven't gotten yet? Cinematic drum impact. <laughs> in a world <laughs> that's, a, that's like the start of every single trailer <laughs> did this one i love this one dude <laughs> oh man that's so good What the fuck? <laughs> My ears. Crash? Wait. <laughs> what the fuck? Why? Sad trombone? <laughs> Feels bad, man. It's the same. Uh, cat meow. Meow. Tier one. Oh no. You know what? Actually, I'm spinning again on that one. Okay, tier two. Wait, wait. Have we only seen the tier three? Uh, we've only seen the tier three version of this one once, but that's fine. Uh, it was at the very beginning. Uh, what do we have? Wolf howl. Horse. <laughs> Just a horse. <laughs> what is my... Is that all? I think I went through all of them now. Basketball buzzer? Okay, tier two again. Um, did we do... Did we do this one? Or is this just like the classic one? No. All right, I'm going to do... Wait, have we done... <laughs> Fucking haunted. <laughs> it sounds like they're actually, like, crying and screaming. <laughs> this is supposed to... This is supposed to be a uh, hooray, by the way. This is supposed to be happy, <laughs> happy minions. <laughs> but the vagina who set the children on fire. Oh, man. Is this a sound randomizer? <laughs> yeah, this is the sound randomizer. <laughs> what the fuck? 
Okay, I'm sweating my ass off, man. It's too hot. Holy shit. Okay, uh, here we go. Oh god, we're gonna get scream. <clears throat> it's- I don't want to do professional for the last one. Whatever else you give me. This is rigged now. Nightmare. Alright, that's fine. Professional too easy. Too easy, man. Stop giving me that. <clears throat> okay, it's mildly random. Yeah, I'm just... I mean, the only time I'm making it not random is when I'm making it harder for myself. Now, this could be a disaster. Uh, okay, what do we got right here? We have uh, one tier one crucifix, but we do have tier three uh, incense, so that's good. We got tier two salt. Uh, overall, a tier three dots. This should be okay. My, we are on nightmare. Uh, and our map is going to be Tanglewood Drive the last round. Uh, before level 100, it's gonna be back to basics. Oh, I thought it was gonna be Walter White. It's Walter Moutsley. Let's go. <laughs> back to basic. We got a tier 2 this guy. Not very useful because we got tier 3 flashlight. Um, just grab- look at all this stuff, man. The video cam is so good. Or the photo cam, sorry. <clears throat> Hello, Walter. Yes, sir. Wait, was that an immediate door touch? Yes! <laughs> what? Okay, and we got a boner. Alright, well, that's easy. Literally. Because, so the way the game works, by the way, is that as soon as you unlock the front door, is when the ghost can start doing stuff. So, in that situation, as soon as I unlock the front door in the same second, it decided to do something. So, there might be a very very active ghost here um i'll grab it even though it's the stinky emf or the stinky thermo perfect game here we should try and go for the perfect game perfect game before um that get, gets us to level 100 hello ghost where you at In here maybe oh, it's freezing probably here dirty water is it twins Wait, is that dirty water? Oh, no, it's not dirty water. It's it's EMF <laughs> or dead dots protector. Sorry. <laughs> it sounds like dirty water. All right, nice. Let's see. We have to find the ghost. Let's see. I right, know Orbeez. Let me just grab the UV light. I forget what we have. Oh, we have a mirror. So apparently if you take a photo of the mirrors on the wall, the photo is going to fail now. So don't do that. Make sure to... I guess you don't just don't take a photo of mirrors because even if you drop it on the floor, it's still going to not work. I don't want to try it for science right now because I'm trying to get a perfect game, even though I'm probably going to fail the fucking ghost photo. This, by the way, if you get the ghost photo objective, you need to take it in the book. You cannot take the ghost photo after the book is already full. It's not going to count as the objective. So keep that in mind. Um, grab these guys. And we have the tier three UV. On the floor, it works for you? Okay. Uh, I, I just saw people complaining about it in the bug report channel. So I assumed it was a universal thing, but not apparently. Okay. Where are you? Are you here? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Can you even hear me? Hello? On again? Still works. Still works. Zero. Wait, what? Oh, dots. We could take, could have taken that ghost photo there. Okay. Where are you? Are you here? Why is it not hearing me? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Oh, Jesus Christ, that scared me. Okay, so much dots, so much spirit box. Wraith fan- Wait a minute. How does phantom work with the- Wait a minute. I'm gonna bring out the other dots projector here and just try and get a dots photo rather than trying to take it during a ghost event. Yeah, dots, dots photos count as ghost photos now, which is kind of sick. Honestly, a huge buff for dots ghost or huge buff for us, I guess. Not necessarily for the ghosts themselves. We got big salt. I want to hear myself on the spirit box, though. I don't know if they added every voice line of mine. 
Because we have to record, like, I don't even know, like, 26 different voice lines or something. <clears throat> it was a lot. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Oop, it's not a wraith. Not the wraith. It, it, it can still be a deal, yeah. Um, Alright, let's see it. So this should... Look at that. I mean, this is gonna cover the whole <laughs> room just fine. Do a ghost event. Do the dots. This is so stupid. This is the dots nightmare. Help! The, the bad man has placed too much dots. Yeah, the B camera. Come on. I wonder if the phantom is gonna disappear when I take a dots photo. That's gonna be, that's gonna be interesting science here. If you are ever gonna do the dots again. Are you leaving this room because of all the dots? Are you not happy in here? I don't think it does. I mean, I, I would... It shouldn't. I just... Probably not, right? Oh. It can't be this, right? No. I'll take one photo. Okay, come on. Do something. Like, anything? We need to escape the ghost and capture photos. I think it does? It does? Alright, well, we're gonna test it. If it just does any dots. Yeah, sorry for the bitrate, by the way. Come on. I have patience. It might start hunting, so we should turn on some lights. I did it turn that on. Should be fine. Are oh, they kind of misaligned? I'm gonna wait a second here. No. I need to wait until it starts going that way. Oh god. And now they should be perfectly, like, aligned. I think. Okay, wait, it, ring, it rings the phone over and over again. You need to be careful. I can only take two more photos. Yeah, this is like the camera I use for... <laughs> We're recording my face cam. Oh, there we go. It did not disappear. It did not disappear. Ra uh, if it's a wraith, I might not be a wraith, right? It might not be a wraith. Wait, do we now know it's not a wraith? Is that what's going on? We can easily test between Yokai and Dio. So that's no problem. Now we can just take all the other photos. Uh, it's already stepped in the salt as well, so we can take that one. But look at that. We got all photos, perfect photos. Um, I think it's a wraith. It literally stepped in both assault. I don't know what you want. Um, <clears throat> we have one stinky ass crucifix. We just need to escape the ghost during a hunt, and we have tier three smudge sticks. So this is gonna be fun. <laughs> we just set up all our smudge sticks and go absolutely buck wild. It should vanish. You did a phantom dots photo earlier. It worked like intended. I mean, does it work like intended though? Like I guess. Uh, I guess they sh they would have had to implement that like deliberately so it's probably working as intended but it's it's not like showing its full self right that's not that's basically a i should add that to my um to my ghost guide then as a correction because i feel like that's a new hidden ability like it's it's not the exact same but it's not it's not trivial that it has the same result like i guess you should have known because it's both considered a ghost photo and the phantom disappears oh yeah the dio response we need to see if we can get that Wait a minute. We can get that after it does a dots. Okay, so with that we have all this set up, and then, um, I mean we could do two spare boxes and see if we can get a a do. I don't know if this is gonna work, but I'm curious. I wonder, cause I don't. I mean we first need to see if it's even a do in the first place, right? It might not be. Um. Okay, well the whole setup is here. The ghost is never gonna kill us. Oh, Dio is gonna like have such a bad time here. It's just gonna be frozen. Where's my flashlight? Uh, excuse me. I lost my flashlight. Did I drop it in this mess over here? Nope. Oh, I dropped it on the thing here. Yes. Okay. Uh, my friend, I think it's time for you to hunt me. So we're just gonna make that happen real quick. Okay, it is still in this tiny room. 
I think now it should be. I'm just gonna pull it up one more time. Oh, help me! Okay. Oh, here we go. Coming from the basement? It's normal speed. It's not a DO. Feels bad, man. Could be a yokai, though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, buddy. How you doing? Get stunned. Oh, wait. No, I didn't hit click. Oh, I didn't turn it on. Okay, there we go. Fucking love the... This is like so BM. <laughs> There's like nothing you can do. If you set up this like ritual chamber over here, the ghost is just completely doomed. All right, well, obviously it's a yokai. We have all objectives. We got the bone. We have all photos for our 100th game. We are going to be getting a perfect uh, nightmare on Tanglewood. The c complete classic. Let's see it. What's gonna happen now? Are they gonna be like, uh, do you want a prestige? Or do I have to click a button? Like, what? I, how does this look like? I'm just curious. Because <laughs> obviously I haven't seen it yet. Even though I am prestige level one. Show me the money. Yokai indeed. It should be like a thousand. Boom. Look at that, 1,600, insane. This is a daily as well. If you like the progress, you can now proceed. Like wait, wh who said that? Come out, wherever you are. Wait, what? Someone just said, <laughs> if you would like the progress, you can now prestige over somewhere. Where did they say that? New promotion is now available. New promotion is now available? It's coming out of this radio? Out of the freaking music radio. Wait, how do I do it though? Can I like wait? Let's see. So if I go, do I click over here? Oh no. Uh, leave. Maybe the book. I don't want to like actually. I hope it's gonna be clear, right? Oh here, prestige. Ah, I see. So you get a new button here that will allow you to prestige. Now I'm not. I'm not even gonna press it. It's probably gonna say, "Are you sure? Yes or no?" But in the off chance that it's just gonna immediately plummet me into level one, I'm not even gonna pretend to click it because you will lose all your money and your levels. And I'm still not done trying out all the tier three equipment. But anyway, that was randomizer we tried out a little bit of everything and just played some casual games let me know what is your favorite item i'm ob i mean there's some big some obvious contenders i think the tier 3 crucifix is just super fun look out for a video next video will probably be about the tier 3 crucifix the tier 3 smudge stick is freaking wild the this is like kind of a novelty but it is fun that it does something special i can see that sometimes being useful i think the big thing with all the items in fastmo is that you just have so few inventory slots that you can't have like item like it would be nice if you had if you could just have a like a tier three sanity pill on you while doing other stuff but because you only have three item slots you'll almost never have the right items at the right time like you'll have to you basically have to prepare for everything phasmo is more a game all about preparation rather than about reactive like using your item in a reactive way you're gonna have to prepare for every situation which is a fine setup so yeah anyway hope you enjoyed that if you're not subscribed please do so if you like the video like it if you dislike it dislike it if you want to join the lovely games here in chat you can join us over at twitch.tv slash insim or click the link in the description down below thank you so much and i'll see you in the next one bye guys have a good one bye bye nice we did it okay so now i want to do a crucifix experiment we're gonna be doing oh every every single curse possession versus the crucifix i want to see how you use the crucifix against every curse possession so i think the way we're gonna do that is because we have two crucifixes per game we're gonna set up a custom difficulty where we're gonna do um i think we're just gonna do nightmare mode we're just gonna load nightmare mode as a preset and then add an additional curse possession just so we can defend against two. Now, I will do them random for now until we see the same ones over and over again, at which point I'll start having to, like, select them manually. But for now, I'll just do random. Um, <clears throat> and we'll go say hi, YouTube. Here we go. Hi, YouTube. How are you doing? And welcome back to Phasmophobia. I just reached level 100 i am now able to prestige however i am not done trying out all of the tier 3 items because obviously now i have access to all of them and some of these are extremely cool and in this video i want to try out 
Supposedly the best item in the game. At level 90, you unlock the final tier 3 item, which is the tier 3 crucifix. Now, the special thing about the tier 3 crucifix is that it can not just stop normal hunts, it can also stop cursed hunts which if you don't know what that is when you use the cursed possession there is a uh, sp uh, depends on which cursed possession you use but there is a uh, way that these cursed possessions can trigger cursed hunts now with this crucifix you can prevent all those hunts from happening it will use up the entire crucifix but that is something we have never seen before and for for example for something like a summoning circle is an extremely powerful ability because you can just take the ghost photo without any problems and you won't even get a hunt after it so what i want to do in this video is use the crucifix against every single one of the cursed possessions because obviously for the summoning circle it's really easy how you're supposed to use it you just place it underneath the summoning circle but for something like the monkey paw or the tarot cards it can be a little tricky so i want to learn how do you use this item against all of the different cursed possessions and it's going to be a lot of fun i hope you enjoy if you're not subscribed please do so if you like the video like it if you dislike it dislike it but let's not waste any more time and let's hop into the game let's go all righty yeah for demon it's like absolutely massive range it's like 12 and a half meters for demon as well it's like wild uh okay let's see do that this one and where do we go tanglewood sure we'll start with tanglewood let's go <clears throat> and we have all of the items by the way <laughs> wow thank you for the prime oh boy now we're playing regular nightmare mode the only change i've made is that i've added two cursed possessions because we have two crucifixes uh one of these crucifixes will be used up completely when you use it against a cursed possession uh so we can use it twice against both of the cursed possessions we got richard richard now obviously as you can see besides that i also have all of the other tier three items such as also this one right here which is uh my secret favorite item like the the night vision is so incredibly handy uh first of all we're gonna find the ghost and we're gonna find which cursed possessions we have uh emf tier three also incredible um i think we have pretty much settled the debate that the tier three emf is the best tier three evidence items we have a music box which is gonna be interesting uh and our second one is gonna be um our second one is going to be monkey paw, maybe? Wait, monkey paw can actually be... No, monkey paw can cause multiple cursed hunts. Monkey paw can cause, like, three different cursed hunts. And we have the summoning circle. I'm actually really happy we have the summoning circle. I want to show you this. I want to show you this immediately. Just how interesting the, the crucifix can be. So, because this is, like, the, the complete classic one. Like, this one, everyone immediately understands. But the mu music box, and especially something like the monkey paw, can be a little bit more confusing to defend yourself against. So, how do you use these? Uh, you have to place them where the hunt is going to happen. Now, with the summoning circle, you know that's obviously going to be right below uh, the ghost feet. Now, you can do something additionally, which is really cheesy, but absolutely incredible. You can, uh, if you have the summoning circle... Uh, this is the buff we needed for the summoning circle because you can grab all your salts <laughs> and you can put it underneath the ghost here uh, Is it actually down here? I heard it throw an item. There's also the boner right there. You can put it all right here It's a little finicky because it has like there you go uh, Wait a minute. Is this like how wide is this gonna be? Okay, that's all that. Oh God, I can't place it all there there Boom. And that's six salt. Not everything, but that's fine. Well, actually, let's just set everything up real quick. Um. Hey, Lamau Lennox. And also, thank you for the sub, by the way. I order TV. Thank you for the Prime. Just gaming with the sub. Heisen, Eisen with the 13. And Big Pimpin with the 5. Um, we grab a uh, lighter. We don't need the smudge stick, really. We'll grab the additional salt. Like, this is just gonna be just a complete like we'll fill up the book immediately <laughs> oh yeah we need to take the photo first of the curse or the summoning circle yeah true 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 otherwise it goes wrong me okay. okay that works um <laughs> this is very silly there 
Uh, I accidentally made like a penis or something. I didn't mean to do that, but uh, there you go. We have everything set up. Uh, we also have the bone right here. Now, what I have to, a little, little uh, tip here. I had a problem where I lit the summoning circle and then when I took the photo, it didn't count as a ghost photo. It instead counted as a summoning circle photo. So what I recommend is that you make sure to first take the summoning circle photo so it's not gonna do that for you now we can also grab this bone and then i should be 100 sanity right because we're playing nightmare mode uh so we're gonna light this up boom boom we have the crucifix right here yeah just making sure because <laughs> that's important uh so you light the whole thing and then after it's over it uses up the crucifix but it doesn't kill you and look it stepped in every single bit of salt so now we can just literally stand here and just right click photos photo but <laughs> this is so incredibly broken and just like that with one summoning circle we have perfect photos we got the ghost photo and everything absolutely wild but obviously we're not done here yet the mission has just began now we are uh, zero sanity oh no Oh, luckily we have this hiding spot. I'm so lucky. <laughs> I'm so lucky. I was uh, <laughs> wasting way too much time there. Uh, make sure if you're hiding, by the way, to take off your uh, either your tier two like light or your tier three night vision because it will attract the ghost. Yeah, I don't know if they're gonna nerf this, but it is really cool. Like this is what the summoning circle needed to be good again. Oh no, it's normal speed. The tier one headset? No, the tier one headset doesn't attract the ghost, right? That would be ridiculous. Wait, what if someone is looking at your headset from the truck? Does it attract? Wait, what it does? But how you can't even take that off? How are you? Wait, that's actually stupid. Does it? Wait, that's actually ridiculous. All right. Well, uh, what's what you also have to consider when you use the summoning circle like this? Uh oh, is that it does trigger cursed hunts, which uh you're gonna ask wait what wasn't it supposed to prevent curse hunt yes well it prevents the cursed hunts but it doesn't prevent the hunts after that to become longer because the way uh so, or uh, curse possessions work is that they not only trigger a hunt themselves but they also make every additional hunt after that way harder by making them 20 seconds longer, which can be a huge deal, especially on small maps, because on small maps, by default, the hunts are only like 30 seconds long, so it makes them way longer. Uh, and we're gonna get our heart absolutely destroyed by sanity, by the adrenaline shot. Um, we'll also grab some of this stuff and just grab everything. Um, but it also, and it also makes the grace period one second. No matter what your grace period is, it makes it one second. Fun fact, if you use the custom difficulty to set your grace period to zero seconds after using the cursed possession, it also sets your grace period to one second. So it actually makes the game easier to use the cursed possession, but that is a very niche situation. Um, I don't know if it is actually in there. Oh, it is definitely in there. Put this thing on little little random bit of knowledge it's wait no it's not but it is here uh i think it might be twin no it can't be twins right we would have heard that it's six degrees in here okay we didn't see orbs we'll place the tier three dots in here because obviously we also got to figure out the ghost now we do also have the music uh box which we will use later music box can also drain your sanity so the way oh hi there that sounds like emf5 it is emf5 um so the way that you prevent the cursed hunts obviously for the summoning circle is really obvious you just place it underneath the circle for the other items it is important that you either have them on you so for example the way i'm going to prevent the hunt with the summoning or with the music box i can actually show you right here because there's no down downside to it i can just do it immediately uh i recommend because I've already tested this one uh, previously. I recommend having the, the crucifix in your inventory. Um, I'll bring in some more items here. Do we need anything else? Parabolic microphone. Well, I can't carry that right now. Um, I'm going to set up the evidence items as well and at the same time. Uh, preventing cursed hunts doesn't have to be optimal. Sometimes getting a hunt is a really good thing because it means that <laughs> you'll be able to get evidence during a hunt. However, I obviously want to show you here. Now, I already have the ghost photo, so I don't really care about that. I am going to stand back here a little bit because I want to drain my sanity slightly 
So we're gonna be getting some hunts later. So the way I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna walk up to the ghost. It's gonna, oh, it's gonna spawn and then you place it right there. And then it uses up a thing. Uh, it also rode in the book, by the way. See that right there? Uh, so basically where the hunt is gonna happen, that's where your crucifix has gotta be, which is uh, in this situation, uh, it was obviously right here because I like it's it's usually gonna be in the ghost room Summoning circle is unique because the summoning circle triggers a hunt at the circle itself But for example the music box or the monkey paw or the tarot cards are gonna trigger hunts wherever the ghost is so, oh, oh no, I'm gonna die I'm gonna use the glitchy hiding spot here Get absolutely shit on. Uh, okay, so what do we got? We got ghost riding and EMF. It's a spirit shade or myling. Well, it's definitely not a myling. I doubt it's a shade. Wait, no. Did it a ghost event? Did it do a ghost event? I don't think it can be a shade, right? I think it's just got to be a spirit. So, uh, this hiding spot, by the way, it works even when the hiding spot is blocked. I don't know if it's probably not supposed to work this way. I think it almost works with every hiding spot. I would have to test that, but especially this one. For some reason, if you just close the doors on yourself, the ghost just doesn't kill you. Uh, I'm not... I'm not hacking, I promise. I kind of want to try it. Oh, wait, it already stops. Uh, now there's a problem with the uh, with the crucifix. Sometimes when you use the crucifix, it will lock. Did we do all objectives? By the way, we didn't. That's fine. Uh, it will lock the front door for some reason, which there's no way you can unlock the front door. You have to wait until. Uh, I'm just gonna say that's the spirit. If it's wrong, then whatever. It's just an aggressive shade. It happens. Um, the only way you can unlock the door after that is by just waiting for another hunt to happen and that hunt will then unlock the front door. So that can be a little bullshit because you prevented the hunt, but then you need to get a hunt anyway. Hey, it was a spirit. Look at that. What a fast game. What the hell? It was... <laughs> Wait, so every time I finish a game, it's now going to tell me that I can prestige? That's kind of funny because uh, obviously since I'm level 100, I now have an additional button here that allows me to prestige, but I don't want to do that right now because I got more stuff to do. Uh, so yeah, that was a pretty clean first game. Let's hop on Willow Street House and try some other curse possessions. I'm going to get banned. Oh boy. Okay, Ro Ronald Smith, EMF Crucifix Sanity. The, cru the Crucifix, by the way, this is, uh, now you can finally tr or uh, force this objective to happen by using the, the Cursed Possessions, which is really nice. Uh, you That was the one uh, objective that was always kind of hard to get because like, for example, a ghost photo, you can just use like the summoning circle or the music box to get the ghost photo, but the Crucifix you couldn't do, uh, which now you can which is really nice. And additionally, not only can you uh, use it to just get a ghost photo for free and get the crucifix objective for free, but you can also take photos of the burnt crucifix to fill up your brook really quick. Like there's so many ways you can use this. The crucifix is just absolutely insane. Uh, let's see, we have the mirror this time. That's gonna be interesting. What else? I would, I was, Definitely want to see a summoning or a monkey paw later. It's gonna be voodoo doll. Oh, I hear something. It's in the kitchen. Yeah, that's why you unlock it at level 90. <laughs> because it's so. It's it's just really game changing. Oh, hi there. Use this phone. Right? Nice. Beepity boop, beepity boop, beepity boop. Like in here though, right? Yeah, it flipped this plate. Uh, and it's cold in here. Let's see, what is our second curse possession though? Is it another summoning circle? We are gonna get some overlap here. Okay, that's fine. It's just, that means we just get another easy hunt, but then I'm gonna start with the mirror here, uh, which is gonna both help us to find the ghost room. And this is gonna be an interesting one. I haven't used the, the curse or the crucifix against the mirror yet. But we know it's in the kitchen. Okay, so now, wait, you can actually see the the flashlight from the mirror, by the way. But then I'm gonna take a crucifix. I'm assuming I just have to play. I'm gonna take both of them just in case. Uh, well, no, actually, because then it might use it. Um, a question, because a question you might have, if you've already used the crucifix, 
Can it still prevent a cursed hunt? No, it can't. It needs to be untouched. It needs to be fully charged with both charges for you to be able to use it to prevent a cursed hunt. If it's already used once, it cannot prevent the cursed hunt and you will die. Uh, so be careful about that. Uh, we're going to grab one of these. We're going to bring some stuff out here. Doesn't really matter because we're not going to get a hunt and we already have the... This won't be able to... We won't be able to get a ghost photo off of the mirror here. It's kind of not very useful to do this, <laughs> but we're going to do it because we're silly. Oh, it touched the door here. Is that even a five again? Oh. <laughs> this is so, so cute. Place this on the wall. All right, so crucifix is in the middle. Now, it hopefully works. Otherwise, I'm going to die. Oh, yep, definitely works. So <laughs> now for the mirror, it's kind of easy to do this because you can just place it in the room that you see with the with the thing. Now, this doesn't really do anything for me because I just drained all my sanity. All I did was prevent the hunt, which is kind of useless, but it, that's what I'm doing. I'm doing science to see how to prevent the hunt from each different curse possession. Um, I'm going to get the hell out of here before I die. Well, that pl Oh, no. No! No, Sprint, no! It's some kind of thing or something! <laughs> I don't know what it was, but it was fast, dude. What the hell, man? I got wrecked! All right. So, yeah, there was literally no reason for me to... Oh, my God, I scared myself. <laughs> I don't know if that was a Moroi, a Haunty with a, or a, I don't know, Raichu even. It was a thing. Oh man, that was, that was, it didn't sound that fast, but apparently it was. All right. Well, that's just unlucky and also very stupid. <laughs> Let's move on to Grafton now. Uh, this is pretty expensive, by the way, to throw in all the tier three items and die, but I don't really need money anymore and I'm going to prestige soon anyway. Let me know what you want to see me do before I prestige. Is there anything, any questions you have about the tier three items that you still want answered? Because I've already made quite a lot of videos about it. This was the one specific one that I hadn't really covered yet. Um, the smudge sticks are really cool too, by the way. They will uh, stun the ghost during a hunt. What I've been doing is setting up, you can actually place them. I, I don't think I can show you here, but you can place them using F the same way you like place a video cam or something. Uh, and then you can light them. So when they're on the floor like this, you can light them with the, uh, with the lighters. So you just set up a table that has like one of these on each of the corners. And then you just stun the ghost and it's like the easiest hunt of all time. There's like nothing the ghost can do. It just gets completely destroyed. Uh, we're going to grab this already because we know we're gonna want to try a cursed hunt immediately let's see what do we have we don't have music box oh i heard something immediately Is that over here emf do your thing i think so wait no did i not turn it on uh, is it gonna be monkey paw, please? I really want monkey paw. There you go. It's right here. It's in the living room. I did hear something. Because monkey paw is very interesting. Oh, here we go. Okay, we have monkey paw. Now, monkey paw can trigger cursed hunt in many different ways. If you are interested, by the way, uh, I saw a lot of people struggle with this uh, when they are like new. Uh, you can figure out what you can say with the monkey paw by going into your settings and setting it to. You gotta drop it first. Uh, setting your 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 res your voice recognition mode to text if you do that and you pick it up and then I think you have to right click yeah here you can make a wish which will show you which wishes you can make so if you click on ghost you can say I wish to see the ghost I wish for activity I wish to trap the ghost uh, player I wish to be sane I wish to be safe I wish to leave which by the way I wish to be sane this one you should never use you should always say if you want to oh, if you want to say it yourself you should say I wish for for sanity i have tried to say i wish to be sane it will always 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 recognize this wish instead it will always think you're saying i wish to be safe so say i wish for sanity not i wish to be sane i don't know why they have this here because it definitely does not work um i wish to leave it's just 
Like, I'm not a, I wish to revive my friend. I wish for knowledge. I wish for weather, uh, which you can change the weather, by the way. Look at this. You can change all the different weathers. So, yeah, there's a lot of stuff you can do with this. Um, and that's how you can check that out. What a weird bug, by the way. You see this? After I open the journal and I do any settings changes, my night vision gets super dark. Why? What a weird bug. <laughs> Just so strange. I don't know why that's a thing. Okay, anyway, we have monkey paw. Now, how can the monkey paw trigger a cursed hunt? In many different ways. Uh, because there's so many things you can do with it. You can say, I wish to be, I wish the ghost was trapped, which will trap the ghost in the ghost room by locking the doors, but it will also trap you in whatever room you're in. So what you need to be, what you need to make sure of is that when you use that wish is that you're in a room that can't be locked. What do I mean with that? A room like the dining. If you're in the dining room, it can lock this door, but that doesn't matter because you can just walk out this way. So you need to make sure that you're not in a room like this, where every door can close and then you're locked in. You need to keep an escape route in mind. Now, another wish that can trigger a cursed hunt. I think we're just going to be using this like for every cru crucifix here. Uh, another way is you can wish for knowledge, which I think from my experience, I wish for knowledge is impossible to stop with this with the with the crucifix we'll have to test that here because uh for some reason i've never succeeded in stopping it now another thing you can say is i wish to see the ghost which will do basically the same thing that a that a summoning circle does it will spawn the ghost wherever it is it'll do a ghost event and then it will start a hunt right after so what you can do is you can hold the crucifix say I, let's try that one first let's do that one right now um because that's the easiest one I wish to see the ghost. So we're going to have to run over there, place the crucifix, and then take the photo. And now the crucifix is going to be used and we'll be fine. Let's go. Now, the really nice part, honestly, the cur the crucifix, the tier 3 crucifix plus monkey ball might be the most OP combination possible in the game. Because this didn't even... Oh, God. <laughs> it looks very cursed. Because what I just did didn't even drain my sanity. Uh, the ghost event did, uh, but wishing for to see the ghost doesn't uh, doesn't drain any sanity as far as I know. Now I did kind of screw myself over because there is currently a bug in the game. Look at my vision. <laughs> if you wish to see the ghost, what is supposed to happen is that it is supposed to do a hunt, and then during that hunt, you become blinded, which is this effect right here. After the hunt, this effect is supposed to go away. However, because the hunt never started, the effect never goes away. Now, I don't know if after another hunt, this effect will go away. I, we have to try that because I think that might be the case because otherwise it is very... <laughs> this is the effect of having so many things change all the time. The spaghetti code that must be Phasmo's back end at this point. I don't even... I can't imagine what the whole code base of Phasmo must look like. Uh, anyway, we need to do some stuff here. We're going to grab the tier three motion sensor, which doesn't even look like a motion sensor anymore. And we're going to grab, I guess, some evidence items. Uh, now, it's not that bad because the night vision goggles actually like make it pretty easy to see even when you have the blindness effect. Uh, but we just need to get a hunt and then we can figure out uh if it's gonna go away or if it's just gonna stay this way this is this is all for science uh let's place that i don't know if placing it oh you can place it on the ceiling in this one i don't know if that actually helps much i feel like you don't want to place it on the ceiling but <laughs> i think you just want to place it on like a chair like this oh it already stepped in the thing so you got motion sensor nice um anything else can you write in the book we didn't get emf5 I'm not a big fan of the tier three motion set. So the way it works is that it basically detects the ghost. If it ever steps in the circle, then it will point towards the ghost and do a flash. But I don't know. I just feel like I mean, it, it can be kind of cute. There you go. See, so it's over here. It's standing right here. Uh, it's just not very accurate from my experience. Okay. Oh. Fuck, that kind of scared the shit out of me. Do we get EMF over there? EMF. Two. Right, I'm gonna grab some more stuff because we need to get some evidence and then we need to get another hunt You know what we we could just say I wish the ghost was trapped. I wish the ghost was trapped. I Wish the ghost was trapped 
Hello? I wish the ghost was trapped. I wish the ghost was trapped! All right, guess we're just gonna use the text-to-speech then. <laughs> what the fuck? Ghost, I wish to trap the ghost. There we go. All right, that works. Uh, so now it's gonna do a hunt in, in 60 seconds here, which I really quickly want to grab some extra items and then get this hunt to happen to see if we can get rid of this vision effect. Uh, I don't know how they missed this. I don't know how in beta testing no one, like... I don't know why in beta testing no one tried out to stop a hunt using the monkey paw because you would have figured this out immediately But hey, it happens. You're not going to be able to spot every single bug. Oh boy. I can't see shit, man This is a disaster. I'm just gonna hide I'm just gonna hide back here and just wait for the hunt to be over <laughs> What the fuck? I'm not beta testers? No, I don't want to be a beta tester. I, I commend the beta testers having to be like having to spend so much time on oh Oh no! I'm gonna die! It's a Dio! Why? Out of all ghosts? Okay, I didn't die. <laughs> okay, well that makes my life very easy. Now the question is wait, can we use the spirit box here? That's interesting. Where are you? Are you here? Wait, the lights are on. I can't turn off the lights. Wait, come with me. Come with me, Dio. We are on an adventure. On an adventure for Spirit Box. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Where are you? Are you here? I can't even see this ghost, dude. It's so fucked up. Where are you? Are you here? Can you no longer use the new Spirit Box during a hunt? Or is it just not responding? Okay. It worked! No, it didn't work. Wait, did it? Yes, it worked! Okay, so there you go. <laughs> so they just did... Oh, it's writing in the book. They just made a, a simple mistake. So yeah, yeah, my vision is restored now. Nice. <laughs> okay. That's good. Oh, God. It's, it's just a... It's a ghost event. It's fine. Oh, baby. That is so much better. I'm going to take a photo of the ghost writing. I still need to repel a ghost during a hunt. Okay, anyway, now I'm really curious. Can we wish for knowledge and prevent that hunt? Or are we just gonna die? Because what's supposed to happen when you say, I wish for knowledge, is it's supposed to start a hunt close to you. So it should be the easiest hunt to prevent using the, the, the crucifix, because all you have to do is just place the crucifix underneath yourself, and that should be it. But I don't think it works i just haven't been successful at it so let's try it out now we have luckily a dio here so even if it hunts we should be fine uh let's see so we're gonna place the crucifix right here in the ghost room underneath my feet and then use the monkey paw which where did i drop it over here and we'll see if this works i wish for knowledge okay my whole fucking hello I wish for knowledge. It does not. It's literally right there. You see this? Okay, so I think... I don't know if that's supposed to be this if, this way, but you just simply cannot prevent the knowledge wish with the crucifix. So that is the one... I think that is the only cursed hunt that you cannot prevent from happening. Now, we can't stun it. <laughs> with the with the incense even though it doesn't matter because it's only a simple do uh so yeah keep that in mind don't get yourself killed by trying to prevent the 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 knowledge wish it is also the most dangerous thing really you can do with any of the cursed possessions because not only does it stun you for like a solid two seconds before you can run away it makes you blind and it triggers the hunt close to you, no matter where you are. Oh my god! The <sighs> oh fuck, dude? That was actually sick. So yeah, I don't know why that doesn't work. <laughs> that was actually awesome. I don't know why the... Oh, I guess we could do another thing now. No, let's just... Let's get out of this one, because my whole vision and audio is all fucked up now. Because when after you... This is supposed to happen, by the way. After you wish for knowledge, it'll eliminate one of the evidences 
um and it'll make you blind and deaf for the rest of the entire contract so you really should only use it at the end of the contract uh but yeah i just wanted to test if it truly didn't work with the combination with the crucifix and it does indeed not work now what i am curious of is using the tarot cards that's going to be interesting uh i'm assuming in order to use the tarot cards or to prevent a tarot card hunt we're gonna have to place the we're gonna have to place the crucifix in the ghost room but we're gonna see let's let's find out uh where are we gonna go where have we not gone let's go to edfield and we should you know you know what let's just do tarot cards let's force yeah. um let's force it in this force the tarot cards what other one have we not seen haunted mirror music box we saw voodoo doll not ouija board is i guess that's kind of similar right you know what it's actually going to be interesting voodoo as well but i think voodoo and tarot cards are kind of similar uh so let's yeah you know what sure we'll do voodoo doll voodoo doll first and then we'll see yeah we and we also have an board yet <clears throat> okay uh now the tarot cards are always going to be dangerous because you cannot prevent a uh <laughs> a hanged man card from killing you no matter how many crucifixes you have i don't know so first of all i think our first step is going to be so we have tarot cards let's go oh hi there it's going to be finding the ghost luckily the ghost made that very easy because it is simply in the garage i would assume I'm not entirely sure. Let's place this one here. Uh, is it going to be there? This could be a very bad idea. I think we're just going to use the tarot cards in here. Now, you don't have to be in this place. You know what? Let's not use the tarot cards there. I'm curious. I'm going to grab the other crucifix. And I'm going to place it uh, in the living room where I'm going to use the tarot cards. Because if it does like a... So if you get a demon card and then you get a death card, you get the ghost to hunt right on top of you, which will be really scary. Uh, so we grab this. I already have a... Uh, I'll grab one of these. No, no, no. We'll just grab a smudge stick just in case we have to protect ourselves. I doubt it. I think I'll be able to prevent this just fine. Right, right there. Okay. Tarot cards... It is your time to shine. See it. <laughs> you can hear it over there. It worked immediately. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> it totally worked. Easy beat. That is like genuinely very good. Because the one thing with the tarot cards is that you can never like. Uh, it can be so random what happens when you pull it. But this way, you have a little bit more control over it. Most of the time, when I'm pulling the tarot cards, I want to get a hunt. So I wouldn't necessarily do this. However, if you don't want to hunt, this way you can prevent it. Like, let's pull, pull more tarot cards, see what happens. Red. Feels bad. I was hoping that would be an actual devil card. Oh. So that one is not prevented. Okay. Okay. It's a revenant. <laughs> you want to hear the revenant? Wait, oh, I can't do this. Am I crazy? It's a revenant. If we let it know of our location, we're going to immediately fucking implode. Which would be a very bad idea. I could do this. Hello, you piece of shit! Hey! You piece of garbage! Fucking good job, man. <laughs> the revenant is so terrifying. So yeah, this is why I usually don't. Pr I think the the um the best use case for the crucifix, the tier three crucifix, is with the music box, the um the, the summoning circle, or the monkey paw. Either, especially with the summoning circle, it is incredibly good. Uh, because you can not only, like, 
get an easy ghost photo you can also easily get all of the photos from all the salt you place i'm just gonna keep pulling cards what's the worst that could happen uh the reason why i don't think it's very good with tarot cards and for example a voodoo doll uh now the re so how do you prevent a hunt uh with the voodoo doll or from the voodoo doll oh god i'm gonna leave real quick how do you prevent a hunt from the voodoo doll? You need to place the crucifix in the ghost room because as soon as you hit the hard pin of the voodoo doll, it's going to do a hunt from wherever the ghost is. Now, why do I think that's not very useful? Oh, this guy's always always surprises me. Um the the way I use the voodoo doll personally is to find the ghost room. I'll whenever I see it, I'll use it and then I'll listen if I can hear any interaction around the map. Which means I haven't found the ghost room yet. Like, I rarely use the voodoo doll after I've already found the ghost room. And if I do, the main reason is to either, like... I I guess the situation where you want to get, like, writing or dots. Yes, you can place a crucifix and prevent the harp in. But the other one is where I just want to get a hunt. I literally... All I want is get a hunt. So then preventing that hunt is just going to be extremely counterintuitive. <laughs> or counter to my, to my goals. So why would I do that? Uh, let's quickly grab the voodoo doll here and see if we can prevent that. Because uh, I, I do want to prevent every single one of them, even if they're not very useful. And I want to do the summoning circle again, because the summoning circle is like by far my favorite. It is weird that you can't stop the... Stop the Ouija board. Or not the Ouija board, but the monkey paw knowledge wish. This seems kind of weird. All right, buddy. Please tell me you didn't roam. Otherwise, it's going to be very bad. Wait, you know what we could do with this? We can just take photos. We can... <laughs> use the monkey... Or the... The voodoo doll with no downside. Because even if it's going to trigger a hunt, it's just going to be stopped. That's probably a bug. I mean... That's why we're testing it all, right? Because if, if it is a bug, then they can fix it after we report it. We're basically all beta testers in the first week. That's the way it goes. Uh, I'm going to drop this here. Nice. Sweet. Is there a bone? I didn't see it. Team of five? Was that a knock on the window? What was that? Oh. It was a knock on the window. This one. Right? Let's see. Can I get it in time? I'm uh, getting stuck. I'm curious. It was. Touch the door. Easy peasy way to fill up your book. This might be a situ This is something I would never consider. Actually, this is why I love doing videos like this. Because now I am like... Wait, is it freaking voodoo doll like breathing? You see the head move? Is it fucking staring at me? Is it slowly like facing me? What the hell? <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> the head like moves and to stare at you. That's kind of terrifying. Oh yeah, look at that! Ah! <laughs> so, um, I would never do this because it's extremely stupid and extremely risky to be using the voodoo doll inside of the ghost room. However, if you just place a uh, tier three crucifix, you can use this to get all your photos easily. Wait, that actually makes the, the voodoo doll so much better. And then. Another photo, just keep going with this. Eventually it's gonna be the hard pin. Oh, it touched it again. Right? Twice. Yep. And hard pin. Still not. There you go! That is so strong! Because the thing with the voodoo doll is that it only kills you once. But if you can prevent that single hunt. Uh, you have no tr no problem. And then you can also just take the photo off of that. Bada bing, bada boom. And just like that, we got a full book. Full book, we know what the ghost is. We've not done all objectives, but that doesn't really matter. Uh, scary Revenant. It shouldn't be... I mean, if it's a mimic... Let's just pull more tarot cards. I, I, if it's a hanged man, I... That, that'll just be funny. Okay, it wasn't gonna be very funny though. Please don't. <laughs> oh no. Hi there. 
Now I'm gonna die. <laughs> this is fucked up. Oh! Hello. Get smudged. The funny thing about these smudge sticks is that if you have like the head cam on and you light them and then you throw them in front of you, it freaking blinds you because of the, the like smoke trail. <laughs> it's like a flashbang. All right. Uh, so all we have left to try is preventing an Ouija board hunt, which is probably similar. This is very cool. So I'd say it's very good with the summoning circle. Obviously, it's very good with the monkey paw. It's surprisingly good with voodoo doll because you can use it to get all your photos really quickly. And it is obviously very good with the music box as well, because you can use it for a free ghost photo. Stop freaking guilting me into prestiging. Why does it say it every single time? It should only say it once. I don't know why. Okay, so I'm just quickly going to add the Ouija board and then we'll head back in. It's so silly. Okay, Ouija board. And then what's the other item we want to try? I want to try another summoning circle, man. That shit's... What? Oh, come on. What? Wait. The Ouija board reduces your reward by two? That's some fucked up shit. All right, well then I might as well just set lose items on death to zero. If you're gonna be that, if you're gonna be that way. Anyway, whatever. Annoying. Mirror? Mirror we already tried. All right, Patricia, let's see. Uh, I've also added the summoning circle because I just wanted to see that again. Uh, Grab all of this. Oh, well, let's grab this first. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I have a plan. We can ask the board <laughs> where the ghost is. And then we can prevent the cursed hunt right away. Because we know where the ghost is. Right, I hope there's a hiding spot down here. Otherwise, it's going to be kind of scary. There is not. All right. Well, time to die. Where are you? master bedroom same thing or main bathroom same thing with the ouija board by the way if you're interested which questions you can ask the ouija board you gotta you can turn your uh voice recognition to text and then click on the ouija board and it'll just show you a list of all the questions you can ask um so yeah goodbye that can be really useful now i do need to take this with me here Come with me. Oh, it is in the main bathroom, which I think is just this bathroom right here. I think. This one. Hello, ghost. Are you in here? It's going to be freezing breath. It is. Okay. I'm curious. Oh. I'm going to die. I didn't seek. Let's see, my five. Nope. Am I gonna die? <laughs> but it's, it still breaks the board, obviously. Okay, so <laughs> you do not prevent the board from breaking, which I didn't expect to happen anyway. Uh, so yeah, keep keep that in mind. <laughs> Dumb ways to die. I am curious. I want to try that as well. Someone said I shouldn't do this, which may makes me want to do this. What if you stand in the middle of the summoning circle as you are lighting it. I have to try this. Like, does it kill you? <laughs> or like, how do the hunts get prevented? That's my main question. Like, does it do one frame of a hunt or does it just prevent the hunt from starting entirely? We have to, we have to do this. I have to do it so you don't have to. All right. Boom, 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 boom. I'm gonna take a little bit of a close-up here. Oh, and nope, it doesn't kill you. It doesn't kill you. It, lit it just prevents the hunts, which is what I expected, but someone said that they died this way. So I assumed <laughs> that it would kill me, but it didn't. So yeah, uh, there you go. <laughs> Very cool. Now, we don't know. We, my sanity is down the drain. Let's do the thing that I was talking about earlier, where you set up like a whole... Uh, Smudge stick, uh, paradise. Oh god. Oh no! This is what I was talking about! <laughs> it locks you in. You know what? Wait a minute. That means we can do more science. 
That, oh no, all these hiding spots are available. I was hoping they wouldn't be. What? Are you kidding me? I really wanted to see what happened if you like... I guess I guess I can't. Well, Ripperoni. I wish to leave. Yeah, I don't have the... I don't have the, the monkey paw, so I can't. This is very silly. I should be zero sanity though, so it's... Oh, here we go. Fast. What? Right you? Right you! Right you! Okay. <laughs> you can hear how when I put on my headset, it goes super mode. Oh god. Oh, oh boy, I can barely see. Yeah, the lower FOV is kind of nice uh, when you're wearing the head, head thing. As I said earlier, whenever you prevent a cursed hunt from happening with the crucifix, it still makes every hunt afterwards longer, which I feel like has to be a bug. I mean, it's just the way the coding works, right? It just, like, the crucifix feels like a modded item. Like, it doesn't feel like an item that shoot, that is, like, added by the devs themselves, because the way it works is very janky. Like, it sometimes locks the door, it sometimes makes you blind, it sometimes, like, or every time makes the hunts longer anyway. Like, it just, it feels like it's, like, half implemented. Like, it is implemented, but it, like, only has half the features it should have. Uh, well, anyway, we got, we know it's a Raichu. Um, obviously, it, it does the main thing it's supposed to do, though, but it just, like, it feels like it's not fully there. Like, it, like there's just a few more things that need to be tweaked. Or it's a... Uh, maybe it's a feature. Yeah, it's not a bug, it's a feature. There you go, it was a Raichu. All right, so that's all I wanted to do. I quickly wanted to go through all of the cursed possessions and show you how you can prevent hunts with the, uh, the crucifix and learn some stuff along the way. I definitely... The one thing I learned mostly was the Voodoo Doll. The Voodoo Doll is actually like a superstar with the Crucifix. Uh, so I hope you enjoy it. Let me know which one is your favorite item. I don't necessarily think the Crucifix is my favorite item. I really like the Smudge Stick, and I think my, my main favorite item has got to be the Night Vision, just because it's so broken. Like, being able to carry an additional item and just having, like, a, an ultimate flashlight uh, without have, wasting an inventory spot is so insanely strong. Uh, so yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. And if you want to join, the love the game is here in chat. You can join us over at twitch.tv slash instant. Click the link in the description down below. Thank you so much. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Oh, baby. Alrighty. Well, now the question is, uh, when do we prestige? I don't think we... I think the one thing I for sure want to do is do like an all-maps run. I want to do an all-maps run before we prestige where where i just use all of the tier three items for the last time um right now i want to do the levels keep going up let's take a screenshot of my level oh what did i just do let's take a screenshot of my level right now and level up once real quick and see how the curve works like how is the curve of leveling at this point let's just do this difficulty like a no evidence thing i also want to do no evidence uh no evidence tier one versus tier three what happens if you prestige you um get back to level one with nothing nothing to your name let's see it i should not take all my items when i'm doing a challenge like this like what is wrong with me <laughs> what is wrong with me my loadout slot is messed up Nemesis, thank you for the 10. Yeah, I there's literally not a single incentive to prestige. Like, the only thing is badges, because you get a loadout slot, which is completely pointless. Never in my life have I been like, oh man, I wish I had an extra loadout slot. You know what I... It's fast. You know what I wish I'd have is an extra custom difficulty preset. I don't know why they give you extra loadouts. Why don't they give you extra custom difficulty presets? That's way more useful. All right, ghost, come on. Come on, come on. Hello, hello. Uh, hello? It's a thay, right? Come on. It's so bugged. Okay, freeze it. 
Oh, come on. <laughs> no, I don't think they should give you an extra inventory slot because that would just completely break the game. I mean, it would be nice, but it would completely break the game. Um, I think that's just a Thay. Was it a Thay or was it a Mora? I'm just going to say that's a Thay. It was very fast. It's so annoying that my microphone is bugged. Like, it doesn't hear... The items obviously still hear me, but the... The game, for some reason, during a hunt, it doesn't detect my audio anymore. I don't know why. Yeah, it was a Thay. Okay, so now I'm 101. Wait. Did that even increase? The Wait a minute. Let's look at my screenshot. I don't think that increased the amount of money at all. Wait, what? Isn't it the exact same? It's the exact same. Wait, so the curve just stops after a level 100? It just... <laughs> it just doesn't get any harder, which I guess... I guess is fine. I mean, it doesn't really matter. That does mean that we could super prestige. We could do a thing where we prestige every 150 levels or something. Because I really, like, the system is fun. I really like the prestige system. The only problem for me personally is that you don't get to use the tier 3 items for any length of time. Like, every time you are um, at level, like, you unlock the last tier 3 item at level 90, right? And then uh, before you know it, you're level 100. And then the game keeps telling you, hey, you should maybe prestige. You should prestige. You should prestige. And you're like, well, I only just unlocked the crucifix. My guy, I, I want to do some stuff. <laughs> like, I don't want to, I don't want to lose it yet. Um, let's do a, I want to do a sunny man out restricted with this difficulty real quick, just for fun. Not everyone is playing on your skill level. What does that even mean? I just said that I don't want to. Hmm? I don't understand. I mean, I, I don't think that was an answer to anything I was saying. Because I wasn't comparing myself to anyone else. I was just saying that I don't think it... I don't think you get to use... The, if you would prestige at level 100 straight away, you would only get to use all of the items in the game for a short time. That's all I said. I didn't say anything about anyone else. Barandi, thank you for the five. Um, okay, here we go. We don't need to have a flashlight. We just do this. Yeah, I wonder how many people are going to prestige. I just think they need to add more incentives. Like, the loadout incentive is a real misser, in my opinion. Like, I really don't... They should have had some, like, community... Like, uh... Conversation about the, the potential rewards for prestiging. Because I think they really missed it with the loadouts. Like, later on, they're gonna add customization for characters every time you prestige. So, yes, that's something cool. But right now, it feels a, a little bare bones. Yeah, I've never wished for another loadout either. It's back here. Oh, wait, what? Is it? Hello? I think it would have been fine if it was presets. If it was custom difficulty presets. Even though you don't really need them, it would... Oh, God. Oh, God. It would be kind of nice to just have an extra, like... Just be able to have enough presets that you can keep, like, one... No evidence. One, uh... Like, a grinding preset. One slightly modified nightmare preset. One slightly modified, um... Big map preset or something. Like, that would be kind of neat. Also, I don't know why you can't rename any of the loadouts. Like, that's that feels like such a missed feature. Oh, God. Oh, it's a ghost event. I thought I had my grace period set to zero seconds, so I was terrified there. Oopsie daisy. Premature smudge. It happens to the best of us. Chief Big Matt, thank you for the 27. Oh, my God. I forgot about this room. So cursed. I love how this room has the most crucifixes. The squishy room. Can you? Oh. Damn, this goes kind of crazy, though. It's not these guys, though. What? How many flipping ghost events? Chill. <laughs> what a fact. 
Hello? It's this freaking missed screenshot. Yeah, I was far. I was too far, so it looked like shit. Someone's screaming out here. I really like this. <laughs> it's like you're playing freaking Outlast Trials right now. I want to do a challenge where you cannot take off your night vision, like the special ops challenge. Was there a bone? Where? Oh, in here. You're right. So you have to keep it on, which means the ghost will always be able to find you. The devil, hey, what's up? I made an item randomizer. I mean, I already have a randomizer. But thank you. Why is it not hunting? Is it a spirit? Oh, there we go. That's slow. I think it's normal speed. Oh, normal blinking? Man, that's actually kind of terrifying. Oh, it's already- Oh, because we're playing on a small- Ah! I thought the hunt ended already. <laughs> Holy shit. I thought it was already over. <laughs> Wait, how was it not over? <laughs> I forget that you don't hear the footsteps when it's like stepping on the... Oh, come on, man. That was the most roaming Goryeo I have ever seen in my entire life. What the fuck? All right, let's do uh, a little bit of... A little bit of grafting. <laughs> Very silly. What the fuck? Ghost of Barden? Uh, I, I don't know. I'm just trying to lose my money. So I don't feel bad for prestiging. That, that's what I'm doing here, totally. I'm throwing for content. I am not bad at the game. Did you know this, by the way? Okay. Whee! Yeah, they speed up when they get stunned in place. I think they actually even speed up if you break... Wait, that we need to test this. Wait a minute. Do they even speed up if you break line of sight? Important question. Probably not. That's a feature, not a bug. I can see it. By the way, it looks super funny. I made some screenshots today of how it looks like when you wear the head... the, the like, night vision. You have this like tiny goggles on your face. It like actually puts it on your face. It's very funny. Oh, well, time to die. Island? Here comes. Oh. Is it a gin? No? Done it. Wait. What the fuck? <laughs> what the hell? Is it not? Is it a miling? I couldn't hear the footsteps. Yeah, the night vision, I know, but it didn't seem to get much faster. Man, why are the hunts so slow? Or are they so short? The hunts are supposed to be longer. I think that's a miling. I couldn't hear the footsteps, but I might just be wrong. Firelight. Smoke me. May have been a gin. Yeah, it looked like it sped up uh, when it went down the stairs, but not when it went to the kitchen there. Oh, come on, you sneaker. All right, I'm playing a normal game. I'm playing normal insanity. Normal insanity with all tier three items. Give me a perfect game. Every time there's a new update, you need to, like, relearn how to get perfect games. Because they always change. I, for I thought I, for some reason, I was like, wait, did I forget my smudge sticks? Oh, never mind. Um, nothing else to report, unfortunately. I wonder if this guy, like... <laughs> like... How do... Because they use the same guy whenever they add new stuff. Like, I wonder who he is. Like, we need to find him. Is he like some guy on Fiverr or something? 
I'm the Phasmo guy. Or is he just like a friend of DK maybe? <laughs> oh, they, he's actually in the credits? When they made... <laughs> Well, I don't know if I can say anything about that, but I'm not gonna be in the credits that they like me <laughs> We weren't allowed to be in the credits, which is totally fine <laughs> But like I was I was assuming it was the same for for that guy as well So we could never figure out who he was, but wait we can figure out who he is Can you go to the credits in this menu. No, you can't It's not I don't think it is a person. Maybe it is a friend of DK Because it sounds like a professional voice actor like, I know from experience that if you just get some rando to do voice acting, aka me, it's gonna sound like shit. <laughs> like, it needs to be a professional voice actor for it to sound like someone, someone good. I was, I had to do so many, I mean, I guess maybe it's the same for voice actors, but I had to do so many redos. Like, I was, it took me, like, on average, like, I don't know five plus minutes to record one like voice line because i had to keep redoing it by the end my voice was so dead where are you are you here are you close are you friendly are you french not gonna hear me again suck is it even here it's freezing here i assume just this room oh because it's cold because oh no it is cold here never mind because i didn't turn on the breaker yet yeah i am the spirit box i have become spirit box the destroyer of ghost hunters and now i am become ghost the destroyer of me It's it, the other people that watched Oppenheimer. That was like my. I can't believe that didn't become like a a, a meme. But I, I I guess I'm not very high in the meme culture anymore. It was so bad. Like the way they included that line, because everyone knows that line, right? It's the like Oppenheimer line. They literally just the way they this spoilers for Oppenheimer. If you don't fucking, if you didn't watch. Uh, the movie it's not really a spoiler but after the trinity experiment where they just like blow up uh like the test bomb literally just a random voiceover like after the experiment it like fades to black and he goes like i am become death the destroyer of worlds and it's just like uh, and then it just continues it's just like they literally like were like oh shit we forgot to put the I am become death line in the movie why well, they didn't because they already did it in a previous scene but they were like oh we need to put it in after the big explosion so they were like uh well let's just add it in then and they didn't even think about how they when they had to include it it was just like fade to black I am become death and it was just and I was sitting there like come on man you really didn't have any better way of including that <laughs> It was so silly. All your base are belong to us. All right, you're gonna be having a bad time here. I can't see my reticle on this stupid night vision. Oh my god. <gasps> my ghost. Oh, nice throw. Nice throw it. Where did it even go? Did it go outside? Oh no, it went here. This? Wait. Where did it go? This one? Oh yeah. Nice. Can you give us a sign? Can you touch something, please? Do 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 dots. It's gonna be a Goria. I'm doing insanity, right? So it could just be a Goria, in which case, god damn it. Uh, how do I even? I guess I need a tripod. I mean, I like the way they did the explosion. 
I kind of like uh, how they what? How they didn't just make it like cartoonishly loud, but they like delayed the explosion sound because that's obviously how it would work. Night vision is OP. Oh, hi there. That is yes. Okay. Mm, so weird, man. All right, are you a Gorio? Or what now? We cannot see orbs with this night vision, no, sadly. That is unfortunate. It stopped saying. Did it still say I should prestige? I don't think so. Like in these situations, there were. Like, I want to have the camera in two different spots, but I can't achieve that by rotating it. I really think it is such an, a complete not, like, completely useless ability of the tripods, but still, it's fun that it exists. All right, come on, man. You're such a Goryeo. It's either Goryeo, it's like Ema 5, or it could be like Obake. It's useful for, for like, what situation? Is that moving orbs? But you can't you like I don't see it be useful for orbs because you can just hold the camera, no? Like Firelight. I should get into the habit of placing this in the map. Because it prevents your sanity from draining. Right? The neighbors must be like, what the fuck is going on in here? Hi, right, ghosty. Uh, what are you gonna do? Is it just freezing or something? Oh, wait, this is not even here anymore. It's not a Gorio. Where are you? Are you here? Not hearing me. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Where are you? 14. Oh. Did we get the bone yet? Also, I need to tweak this. You can still hear the fans, right? I was I was figuring out I downloaded some new uh some Nvidia plugins, but it doesn't really work that well. I think I just need a better setup of computers. I think I just need to be in a better ventilated space with so my computer because I think my computer like I don't know how much volt or watt how much wattage is on these fans, but the the way my computer is constructed, I've never had any issues with it. But I feel like it's because I, I bought a pre-build because it was genuinely cheaper at the time of the GPU crunch where you just couldn't get a GPU. Uh, you would have to pay like way too much for it. And I th they, they didn't just construct it very well. <laughs> uh, well, like it works totally fine. So maybe they did, but there's not enough cooling. There's water cooling on the CPU. And there is like a single fan that is blowing the air from the seat. I think it's one fan. Yeah, it's a single fan that is blowing the air through the radiator, uh, which is taking all the heat from the CPU. And that fan goes fucking psycho mode. Oh God. Um, like it starts blowing so much sometimes and then there is like only how many yeah, This is like an insane setup. What the fuck? There is three fans in this entire Case there is one fan. Well, no. Yeah, I think so That's so few fans like I've always felt like they needed to add more fans There is one fan, one fan sucking in air from the back, 
one fan blowing an air out from the front and one fan or from the top and one fan blowing it out through the front i feel like that's not enough and i think that's why they sometimes go crazy because there's just not enough fans for it to be able to cool so the fans that are there need to like pull way too much weight i have li <laughs> Uh, POV, you are a person who doesn't know how liquid cooling works. I mean, I guess maybe I also don't know, but liquid cooling still includes fans most of the time, my friend. It, it has... The way liquid cooling works is that it... Like, there's a radiator, and the radiator needs to be cooled. And in my computer, the radiator gets cooled by blowing air over it. But maybe there's other versions of liquid cooling that don't require any fans at all. But my does. I was like, you're gaming on an oven? I need to check. I need to download like that stuff that allows you to... What the... Like measure the temperature of your components. Yeah, can you download some more fans? Is that an option? No, the fan does not blow hot air into the case blows it out of the case at the top oh it's in the kitchen uh-huh wait where are you are you hit here oh you stinky you don't download a car oh going a little crazy I have to afterburn. Oh, it's hush. This right here? Store? Oh. Hi, buddy. Already took a ghost photo, right? So I don't need that. Uh, firelight. Bring that over here. Well. Oh, come on. Chill, brother. Just play fan sounds. It helps. Damn. Life hack. Right there. I was like, where did I drop my photo cam? This is gonna work. Burnt crucifix? Does it take two? Burnt crucifix. Nice. So, there's still one more. Oh, nice. But I'm gonna move soon, and then I wanna get, like, a... I don't know how I'm gonna set it up, because... Like, I, I, I guess I, I guess if it's my house, I could, like, drill a hole. Like, because I kind of want to separate my computer from my room. But then I'd have to, like, drill a hole in the wall and, like, put the, put the HDMI and all the cables I need through that hole. But that seems kind of, <laughs> that seems like a bit of an extreme way of doing that. Build my computer inside of the wall. Cause I'm gonna, if, if I get the house that I am looking at, I will be putting my office in the basement, which is gonna make it way cooler. And it's also ventilated, but it doesn't have airco, so I have to install airco, which is fine. Wireless PC. <laughs> basement office. It's not a scary basement, it's a very modern basement. I'm gonna die. Oh, it's just a DO. Alright, well, never mind then. Oh boy, I, this is why this, I love my life, dude. Get yeah, stand still. Can you just like give the ghost a kiss when you stun it like this? I have to test for science. For science. <laughs> yes, you can. <laughs> Basement is perfect. And I can get like a double PC setup. Oh, nice. Well, not really nice. I just need one more. Did I get the bone already? I did not. I should munch it just now so we can get it real quick. Bone, 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 bone. I need a photo cam. New romantic dinner. Kind of busted. Like the smudge sticks are so good. Oh, what? All right. 
There was this one house I was looking at that was like built in 1930. I was like, I, <laughs> the only reason I was looking at it because I was like, you'd imagine I get that house. I could do ghost hunting in my own house. That sounds kind of sick. <laughs> But I ended up not doing it because it was like fucking janky as hell because it was old as shit. Haunted home IRL. <laughs> Your house was made in the 50s. Am I gonna just get killed here? I might just die. Oh god. There's a boner. Wait, no, it's not a boner. Did you chill? I need as much. Do I have a video of my, my setup? Just look around your own setup. My setup is the exact same. It's a fucking desk with a monitor on it, with a camera and a microphone. That's what you that's what you use to yell at your friends when you're playing League of Legends. It's, it's no different. Just the thing is that I don't play League of Legends. <laughs> that's the only difference. We are not so different, you and I. Give it a kiss. That's kind of sick, man. <laughs> this is the like pat the ghost on the hat challenge. <laughs> what the fuck? No, there, there's gonna be some sick ass screenshots with this. <laughs> Damn. That's actually super cool. Yeah, it should just be uh, obvious the uh, perfect game. This was exactly what I wanted. A perfect game on insanity. Is it an L desk? I mean, it's an L desk in the way that it's a bad desk. It's too small. I'll get a better desk, though. Obviously. <laughs> it's not actually an... It's a lowercase L desk. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Welcome back. The job's ready for you. Give me the money. Look at that. That is, that is how much the cheese, the cheese strategy gives you per game. And you have to work so hard for it to just get like, it's so disgusting. But anyway, I am like sweating literally out of my eyeballs. So I'm going to have to call it there. Uh, I need to like get ventilated. <laughs> so I'll see you guys tomorrow. Uh, we need to think of some strat or some things that we need to do before we prestige. We might prestige tomorrow. Tomorrow we might go back to level one. So, uh, get ready for that. Um, and then we're gonna have all stinky items again. Thank you guys so much for hanging out today. If you want to see more of me in about 25 minutes, uh, you know what? I'll upload it early. You know what? Because you've been so good today. You've been such a... Such a friendly chat. We're gonna upload the video early. So you can immediately watch it. What was this? What was this video? Oh, oh, baby. It's the disgusting level of video. If you want to see how... I saw a bunch of people ask me a question. How did you get level 100 so fast? This is how. Here you go. If you want to see how I got level 100 in like a few days... Why is it fucking... I have to join Twitch. I'm not logged in on my fucking chat thingy. Here. There you go. It's working. All right, there. Like that video, I just posted it. Go say hi Twitch over there. Uh, who's live? I'm going to say hi to someone. Let's try over here. here. Wait, I can't do that in here. Wait a minute, it's chaos. Chaos, pandemonium. Let's go say hi over here. Thank you guys so much. I will see you tomorrow. Have a good night. But you can raid for points. You get points when you raid? I didn't realize that. I've never seen this from the viewer perspective. What the hell? You guys get points for this? I don't get anything. <laughs> Alright, anyway, I'll see you around. Bye-bye. Have a go. <laughs>